I want to get. I do want to get Tyler like a white pimp suit, like soft pimp. Like no, not like for white people. Like a pimp suit that is white. I think you would rock the shit out of that. that Full hat, feather and shit. I gotta lose all this the, quarantine. The chalice weight. as well too with it. Yeah. Jesus. No, you don't. Real pimp. You gotta have fish. You gotta have fish in the shoe. <laughs> oh my god! I get catfish platforms. Welcome everybody to the uh, Grand Geek. Oh shit! Have you been episode. recording? Oh, oh, you know it. Oh, you know it. Love it. Lamar Love is it. back. Um. Hi, everybody. So this is not the Grand Geekery uh, normal panel discussion, but uh, this is a new thing that I wanted to try, and we'll be uh, putting these out every so often. This is called Extreme Bullshit Ranking. And today, uh, I-, I have <laughs> I have four really hilariously awesome people uh, here with me to essentially figure out who are the best and the worst DBZ characters we're not, not even just a fighter just characters and we're gonna be doing everything from dragon ball to dragon ball z and to not dragon ball gt because it doesn't exist i've never heard of it and uh super because i don't have Crunchyroll or access to watch it no i do have access i just refuse to but um anyway today uh joining me <laughs> is lamar my co-host who's finally back hey buddy what it is how you doing senior tyler i'm you know i'm doing okay just uh living that quarantine life and keeping yeah, as busy see. as possible. And um, uh, what have you been up to, though? Uh, you know, sitting here getting that quarantine 75, uh, pretty much getting to know every DoorDash uh, delivery driver within an eight-mile radius. Um, I've actually started ordering from black-owned businesses because I'm so bored of the regular stuff. Uh, they're about $5 more expensive than you would expect from a regular business. But, hey, you know, Black Lives Matter and shit. We already lost the Panther recently, so you know, got to make sure we uh, feed the feed to other people but uh other than that uh doing a whole bunch of work for free uh you know yeah keeping with the whole black lives <laughs> mad thing i should have said that but here we are now anyway how you doing tyler what's up with everything else i i need to stop talking you're doing good <laughs> you're doing great <laughs> <laughs> next up we have <laughs> Matt, Matt D. johnson from nerdy but what's up buddy welcome back uh, fuck this year. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done with this shit. Yeah, look, y'all niggas don't know, but I'm actually going to school right now for computer science and shit. Right, I'm about ready to quit all this shit, go into the medical field, and figure out if I can see if I can uh cure COVID my fucking self. <laughs> I have no idea how to cure it or what to do. I don't even want to look at blood, but I want to cure this shit right the fuck now so I can go back to living my life at cons and shit and selling to niggas and weebs and shit. You just gotta get hey. some, you just gotta get some lava soap and an SOS pad and you're good. Just I need bleach in my blood apparently going by a certain commander in power and shit, but whatever. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> you just need to get you some Robotetsu. You need to get you some <laughs> Robotetsu. <laughs> you need to get that Tyson. You need to mix that more time. Get some Canada Dry, and then after you get the Canada Dry, you gotta let it sit next to some daytime talk. Mix that with the bleach. The people of Tussin, we ain't ready for Tussin. (laughs) They ain't black enough ready for Tussin, nigga. I don't even know what that flavor is. But uh. Fire. (laughs) (laughs) That's what the flavor is. And uh, that was Robert Williams. What's up, Robert? How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. Thanks, guys, for having me on here. Of Um, course. Short introduction. I've been in the, what, the uh, convention community for what better part of, what, five, eight years. Basically met Paul and most of the other guys through the FGC. So, what, I want to be a semi-pro uh, FGC player, but I'm pretty trash at it. So I just spent all my time online. What, what's FGC? Fighting game community. Oh. Basically a uh, semi, semi-pro semi for two fighters. Got it. Other than that... Other than that, just trying to do it one day at a time in a, in America, where if you're not getting shot by the police, you got viruses raining down. On you. Yeah, it's been it's been a year. It's been. <laughs> I'm so sorry to start this goddamn podcast. It's been rough, man. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much that's pretty much every single podcast that we've had since March. So it well, don't get don't get us wrong. It's been a rough year for black people in general. Usually we deal with this shit constantly, but this year is especially rough. It's no. true. Yeah. Before we go down this big ass rabbit hole, we got one more person, right, Tyler? One more. Yes. We have <laughs> we have we also have uh past guest Paul. What's up, Paul? Paul the Cure. 
Nothing much, man. I'm just listening to you guys, you know, talk about destruction and just dying, and it's it's wonderful. Twenty uh, twenty. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 2020 is so funny these days. You know, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> L- luckily, we have Dragon Ball Z arguing to to make our night better. I guess 2020 been so rough. All my really sad friends have been like optimistic to us who like had hope in life. I had mm-hmm. I had a good friend go, you know, it's okay. It's like, aren't you constantly posting about all for yourself? Like, not this year. This year, everyone wants to. So someone has to balance the shit out. <laughs> the realest quote ever. All, <laughs> all, all the all the all the emo kids are just like they're just like, well, you know what? Yeah, at least I'm alive. And they're just like Jesus. <laughs> just like, <laughs> I know that my only thing I know the bars is that on the thirty first. On December Man. 31st, 2020. I don't know if I'm ready for 2021. I got Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, know, I'm afraid right? of the future. I'm waiting for Bone Thugs and Harmony to make a resurgence to start seeing Crossroads. <laughs> you, shut, you shut your mouth. You shut your <laughs> it's mouth. just going to be 15 Black <laughs> Angels showing up at nowhere. It's like, here's the Crossroads. Like, ah, oh, nah. Nah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the crossroads no more. As many people who we lost, might as well be the boulevard at this point. Oh, oh my god! god. Freaking uh, highway. <laughs> talking about resurrection, let's talk about some Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Please, yeah, let's. <laughs> that was the worst transition I've ever made. <laughs> Out of five I years of podcasting, I tried to warn you about playing this many, many of us in the same podcast. All right, so to be, I'm to so be, to be fair, we're going to we're going to start. We're going to start. Just to be fair, Tyler, Tyler, if you want to record, you know what? I'm not against her. If you want to re-record yeah. this, we'll act right. We, wanna, we yeah, promise we act right this time. No, we're, we're do, we're, no, we're doing it. I'll, you, I'll, you have every right. We'll fix it and post. This. <laughs> just, a bunch of, just a bunch of beeps for three minutes. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just think. This is perfect. This is perfect for the blooper wheel. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. You, th- okay. you think I have time for blooper wheel or reels? Anyways. Um, <laughs> alrighty. Okay. So, we're, so extreme bullshit ranking is essentially we're going to go round by round. Uh, we're going to be going up the numbers. However, the one thing about this is not just us saying who we think are the best. We have to collectively agree each time we go up so if your person is like you're number one but everybody else is saying this like man like th- th- this is gonna be tough we're all gonna be arguing i think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a nightmare for me to edit it but it's gonna be totally totally worth it i hope to god and so uh, also we're gonna each round you're gonna have uh, a judge who basically makes the final say and then that will be set in stone and i'm gonna Bring up a Google Doc so I can keep this, uh, <laughs> so I can keep track as to what the hell is happening with my life, because my parents keep asking me <laughs> the same thing. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, we have we have our debaters, and then every and all of us have one time where we can debate against the the person with the final say, the judge of the round. To uh, essentially, we just don't agree on what they chose, so. On the first round, we'll be starting at number 10, the 10th best GBZ character. And uh, Paul is going to be our first final judge on that. So all of us together have to figure out who our favorite GBZ characters are and why this person is going to be the 10th one out of like the 7,000 characters in that goddamn universe. So, See, here's the only... Okay, so let me get started. Oh, and I want to get yeah. started by saying... I'm trying to remove Dragon Ball Z from Team Four Star right now, and it's proving a little bit harder than I <laughs> imagined. Okay, if y'all don't have one, I got one to throw. Okay, I, no, go, go ahead because go ahead. I don't think we're going to agree. Okay, okay, I'm just throwing in a name because he's on my top ten. Okay, Brawly, the the original Brawly is a part of my top ten. The original and Brawly, I'm I thought he was number ten him. right now. You know, he's not even real. real. Bro, it's not real. Nigga, we, we, okay, look, in, in in this universe, we know that, but like, in my head, it's real as fuck, okay? Especially because the motherfucker was overpowered. He's a legendary Super Saiyan. He's the one that put up a hard ass fight. He has daddy issues as well, too, so I automatically connect with him in that case of shit. Okay. So he's number 10 in my book. Yes, there's some other, but I'm just throwing in Brawly, just, just throwing in a name. 
Okay. All right. Matt says, <laughs> Matt says Brawley. Um, who wants to? I, I'll, I'll go on this one, actually. I, I, I actually, I'm going to say Kid Boo is going to be my favorite. Kid Boo. Oh, you got. Okay. <laughs> That's. I thought you would be higher. I don't know. You guys are putting some fire way down here. <laughs> Wait, what do you. Okay, then give us a name. I, 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 would say, us some, I, would I was say. going to because I still respect the man. It's been rough on him in Dragon Ball Z. He didn't do a lot, but he still showed up, and his eyes still could follow. I'm giving it to Yamcha for number See, 10. Yamcha. For See, 10? Yamcha. 10? You're being nice because yeah, I think man. Yamcha goes higher on the list. Really? In my opinion, he goes what? higher. Well, you he, know 10 is the worst, so 1's the best. 10, 10 yeah, is the 10th best. And the best. Yeah, the 10th best. I personally think uh, Yamcha goes a little bit higher on that list. Yamcha's that much better higher. than Broly? <laughs> Yo, look. Yamcha's in like, my opinion, yes. Maybe in the yes, 20 to 30. Like, like, like from like 30 to 20s. Like in y'all, that y'all are y'all also missing the fact that this man did sacrifice himself and his life to try and actually save the earth. Yeah, he failed at it, but yo, it's the thought that counts. So that but, automatically so makes him Tzu, higher. So did I, I hope the guy Chiaotzu won't be named. Yeah, every, everyone wait, wait. keeps forgetting that Chiaotzu also got yeah. bodied wait. in the same episode. And Krillin True. twice. And, that, and Krillin twice. But Robert, Robert, what did you say, Robert? Well, I was just trying to think. When did Yamcha sacrifice himself? I remember he got cocky and blowed up. And he got cocky and he got a hand through his chest. Yeah, that's a sacrifice, my nigga. Yo, you gotta have some game. <laughs> Shit. But like, okay, wait, let, Paul. Me, let me explain Paul, my what? position, though. Let me, right. let me explain my position beyond like just, just saying Yamcha okay. sucks, right? Because I don't think Yamcha sucks. He's like, what, the sec- third strongest human on Earth? Anyway. Fourth. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's Krillin, Tien, Tien, Roshi. Roshi, and Krillin. Tien. I forgot, Krillin, I forgot Tien was human. I forgot Krillin, Tien was human. Wait, Tien's Tien, human? I didn't know. Tien's yeah. human. Tien is human. So you, got, you have Krillin, you have Tien, Shinon, Roshi. Yamcha. Yamcha is technically a human. You can make an argument for the cyborgs, but you got to put Oob if you're doing DBZ. Wait, no, is, is no. Yamcha... Anyway, Krillin, let, let, anyway, Yamcha, Yamcha came in, got into a fight he wasn't supposed to, got bodied, Yes. But he at least got in there. But I'm putting him a 10 because his screen time was also limited. Okay. So, are, we, are we talking Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball? I'm talking about Dra- are we doing oh, Dragon, Dragon Ball. Oh, he's in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball a bunch. He's in, we're, we're doing That's Dragon okay. Ball, we Dragon do, Ball Z. Oh, so it's a mixture. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, this okay. Broly uh, got way yeah, I might have to give me Broly then. Yeah, yeah it's like, you see, hey, uh, Wait, bro, Lamar, so, yeah. are you saying you know what? I'll Broly? Broly? All right. Bro, wait, man. wait, pause the final decision though. Yeah, it's true. Bro, I, didn't, I didn't even get to pick one yet. No, we, we're not I even like, no, right. I didn't pick one. Yeah, Robert. We really picked everybody. Yeah, we're gonna do the judge um, last. We're gonna do the judge last. All right, Robert, what about you? Number ten. Uh, hey, come on. Back me up, man. Come on. <laughs> come on. I actually I actually had the body for a second. You made me forget with that. That's, okay. that yeah. That's your problem. Okay, come on, back me up, man. Come on, yeah, come on. You know what? I'm just oh, gonna. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna yeah. stick to Yamcha just to give oh my Paul God. something to think about. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to Yamcha. Let <laughs> Robert talk. <laughs> he's gonna automatically. He's gonna automatically back you up, Lamar. It's not fair, Joe. Just back me up, come on. Robert, anyway, who'd you Robert, pick? Robert, what you got? You better talk, boy. <laughs> okay, okay. You made me forget my original what, so this is gonna be a. Uh, wrong song, Hercule. Y'all tripping right now, Miss. Oh yeah, Her- 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 that's a good one. See, yeah, Mister. Yeah, Hercule. Yeah, Mister Satan's awesome, man. Her- 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 Hercule. not only saved the entire world from Cell, he did it in all the time it took for a commercial break. Y'all tripping her. Hercule is the embodiment <laughs> of white privilege. Literally. Uh, first of all, <laughs> you know what? We don't get from Hercule. We're going to go by his original name. We're going to say Mister Satan. Thank you. Right. The whole Mr. Satan there. is the embodiment of white privilege. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think you're white, and I don't appreciate your implications for that. I didn't say he was white. I said he is the embodiment <laughs> of, of white I, privilege. I do not like the implications you make it there. <laughs> a whole Sorry. bunch of space niggas fought a whole bunch of stuff, and then all of a sudden, Mr. Satan comes by and said, I did it. If that don't sound like some railroad <laughs> plantation now, bullshit, then Jesus Christ. Look, 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 look,
that stretched all the way to the boo saga. This man single handedly <laughs> took care of that dumb Goku. Goku ain't got no job. Goku, <laughs> Goku, Goku, he took care of Gohan, he, 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 Goku, and the baby. He did all that, and all he asked was you to take a dive. That, that's 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 mm, a joke. Mm, yeah, my point has been made. I have a whole new set. <laughs> no, I man. have a whole new set for the next time I do an anime <laughs> set. You have no idea, uh, but Jesus it doesn't Christ. matter. So it's up to Paul. He, right, he Paul, has to make a decision. Well, no, Paul's the pick, I, and then he gives. I didn't it. Even pick mine. Yeah, that's what oh. I'm saying. It's Paul's turn. Yeah. Oh, oh that's how this is working. Thing. All right. Mine was brief. He lived briefly, but he was he was dope for what he did. I thought I like did brief I make King. Dragon Ball Z. Wait, Doctor Brief. I said his existence was brief, and I like character change, so I was gonna go with Android sixteen. Ooh. Oh, I like Android sixteen too. That's a good Ooh. one. Mm. Shit. Okay. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 16. Yeah. Yeah. For for it's 10 16. though? I put him higher. What? And eh, not that much higher, dog. Yeah. No. Say, like, not that much, but not so 10. many characters in this if universe. You, if you lasted longer, then yeah, but it was so brief, but enough to make an impact, I feel like it was worthy enough to be at 10. He made more of an impact than I Yanko. would say his death had more of like I the, okay, my argument against 16, right? Yes, he had minimum lines, he had middle screen time, but I would say his death was way more uh, visceral than Yamcha's or uh, y- any of the original three. Yamcha, uh, not Chi Chi, what's the little bald boy's Boma? name? Oh, Krillin. Um, Kr- uh, Chao Krillin? Tzu. Chao Tzu, oh, Chao Tzu. Tzu. Those three deaths, when we first saw them, that was surprising. But 16's death actually had way more weight and was way more interesting. So yeah. that's my argument against 16 being low. He deserves to be on this list, but I feel as if he's low. That's just my push for it. I don't want to argue, I don't want to argue against your point, Lamar, but just one thing I do want to ask. So I agree with you on the, the severity, the weight of 16's death, but do you think 16's death Especially if we compare the two, it was more. I don't. I don't know what the word is. I, will, I guess the gravity of the situation. Do you think that's more than Krillin and Goku's entire transformation? Yeah. Ooh. I be, okay. Even so Pic- or even Piccolo. Like so. This is what I would say. As far as character development, as far as immediate character development, I think I'll give it to sixteen. And the only reason I'm giving it to sixteen is because he made a pacifist lose their mind mm. versus Krillin and Go- Goku. Now, Goku has mental issues, and he just wants to fight because that is a mental issue he has. Krillin <laughs> is the strongest human on Earth, and he wants to continue the fight to continue to be that strong. But Gohan, overall, just wanted to hang with his dad, just wanted to make his son Harris is proud. And the yeah. death of 16 made a pacifist lose their mind. So, that's yep. why I said 16's death is more poignant than anyone else's for that reason alone. Okay. Well, if now, you're going to give 16... I'm just putting that out there. If you're going to put 16 on the list, where would you put them at? I would make them 9 or 8. Not that okay. much higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That but sense. not 10. Alright, okay. Paul. You get really final say on this. We have Broly, Kid Boo, Yamcha, Hercule, and Android 16. <laughs> Oh, okay. Come on, so... Paul, back me up. Come on. Come on, back me up. Let me have this. Look, I just want to clarify that Lamar the Khan guy already won a comic competition already. Let me have this. Come on. You mine. Paul was there. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. Just join in. I, I want to. I want to. Just let me have this. Come on. Jesus Christ. Like, I, didn't, like I didn't join the show, bro. Like, <laughs> I know. I know. But, yo, let me have this. Come on. <laughs> Oh, man, this is it's rough because I I agree with what Lamar says. He should be in that he floats in that three because mm-hmm. it's impactful. But at the same time, the one that makes the most sense, Matt's gonna be upset, is Roberts. Okay, we're Hercule. 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 All right, really? anybody want to use? You get one chance to challenge to challenge a uh, a judge. So is anybody? I'm not, I'm not gonna fight Hercule. I'm not gonna fight her. I want to, but like it's not worth it. Not for ten. Make, not yeah, for not 10. for ten. No. I'll, I'll say mine right. for two. two. I'm I'll saying say mine for three because <laughs> I know that's gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we could I'm just saving, I'm saving mine. I'm saving mine for number one because I know y'all gonna have some head ass shit if y'all already put Kid <laughs> Boo or Broly out there. Awesome. 
All righty, guys, it's going to be round two, and this time it's going to be Matt as our judge. So whoever wants to start off with number nine, I think Lamar, oh, already God, know. I think Lamar already has his. Uh, my number nine is actually going to be – I had my number nine. My number nine is actually going to be Bulma. Okay. Oh, nigga, yeah. you know she goes higher on that list. Let's, uh-uh. You, know, you so, know that. Here's, here's the thing. Bulma, Ooh, as far... To... So, all the women of Dragon Ball Z were the most ride or die bitches in anime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you made space people lose their mind and calm down. She got the angriest space nigga on Earth to calm down. So sorry, future Tyler, you having to beat some of this shit. I'm anyway, not going to. Uh, but perfect. <laughs> How much but time do you think Bulma, I have? Bulma Ryder died. She never died. She never died. Mm. She never had to get her hands dirty. The worst thing yeah, is she survived space crabs, which is, I don't think I'd be able to survive space crabs. But at the end of the day, she was there. She supported. Mm-hmm. She created the future of uh, the savior of the future. It took a while. She but got she Goku it. to Namek. She got Goku to Namek, survived the android attack. Remember, she survived the android attack. Bulma is the only one to never have died. Uh, unless it was a world. Well, Chi Chi. So the, the we're, we're, not, we're, not counting, we're not counting supers. So technically, he's right. Oh, if we're not yeah. counting super, so and also she's not a fighter. She so she has no, but she's science. Pause. She, hold up. Just realize she actually technically did die in Dragon Ball because she got turned into chocolate by Boo and was eaten by Boo. So doesn't that mean that she died technically? Okay. Yep. I, oh I will shit. Re, I That's will what I was thinking. Address. That's what I was thinking. I'm so Well done. I, do I forgot about that. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if that was 100. percent Candon? Yeah. yeah, that wasn't, but like, like, like still, it was implied that then, like, a lot of people Then died. I will refresh. But Other than everyone else on Earth dying, yeah. <laughs> she's the one who survived the longest. She's the best support character they've had. Uh, she's caused no problems. She got Goku out of the forest. She pretty much raised the savior of Earth. Bulma, Bulma's the most right to die. I believe she I needs Bulma. to be nine. I believe she, she needs to be nine. She, I, I, she doesn't beat anybody else. I want to give her versus anyone else because she literally did nothing on Namek other than be there. She got to Namek and she did nothing. She did very little to nothing during Kid Boo. The only thing she did was have Capsule Court. So, yes, yeah, she, she created the trunks. To be the badass of uh, he becomes kind of yes, she raised trunks, which is one of my points. But I think she's way not, up higher. She on this didn't list. make the savior by herself. The savior yeah. had to go back in time. Yeah, but keep in mind, she did technically create time travel, so that's why she deserved to be higher up yes. on the damn list. She, mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't. Nigga, I, so, so did Tony Stark, and he didn't make it. Paul, what were anyway, you saying? I'm just thinking, like, how do you disregard that she did that? She's literally like one of the smartest people on the earth. Yeah, she is. She She's is. Ridiculous. And that's why she deserves to be nine. I can't put her above a lot of others. Uh, as she's far top, as she's top five for me. I mean, I mean, technically, Lamar has a point. As smart as she was, she did freak. She did take out the bomb for 16 when he went to war with six uh, cell and called the entire best cell support. She's exactly what we wanted out of Sakura. That we didn't get. Don't don't don't, don't, don't do that. She don't, don't deserves, do that. She deserves top ten. I'm okay. giving her nine. Okay. You guys can pick your own. I'm giving her nine. <laughs> All right, Paul. Okay. Uh, uh, Paul, I'm gonna go with you next. Uh, who's your number nine? <sighs> crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking wrong. beautiful. I, I love Tyler. I just want you to. I just want to say. I'm really happy. This with is the this. smartest thing you've made, and I love this shit with a passion. I truly do. This is this is fucking brilliant, and I truly hope that you continue oh, this, on with this for a very long. Oh, this I, is gonna I, be a three hour podcast. I this is gonna oh, be man. a long one. Yes. Sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm good because my missus is playing yakuza. So okay. whatever. <laughs> All right. All right, Paul. <laughs> Nine is, I mean, nine. These the the, the these are hard. Like yeah. the, the ten, nine, eight are actually way more difficult than I imagined. I think it's gonna get easier, head. yeah, as we keep so, going. It'll definitely get easier the higher it goes. But oh man, 
gosh, what do I pick for this? There's so many people that can't, could float right here. And remember, it has yeah, to be your DB give me, give and DBC. Give me another minute. Okay. Give me another minute. All right, Robert, why don't you go ahead? Higher than Hercule. Number nine? I'm going to put King Kai up there. Uh, okay, King you took Kai. mine, you mother. <laughs> no. I'm going to put King Kai. I'm going to say King Kai not only was our first glimpse of actually understanding the level yeah. and death that we're, we're going to have with DBC, because it was just about, you know, as Lamar said, a mentally challenged person that was thrown off a cliff and just wanted to fight everybody from dinosaurs. But, you know, we actually got to see jobs in space and yeah. Goku learned the God technique off screen in 13 seconds. and He's comic relief. You, gotta be, you have to appreciate not only King Kai's narrative, you got to appreciate his comic relief. Yep. There's never a dull moment with him. And he's by far still one of the most consistent teachers for Goku, stretching all the way far to movies and even Super that Goku's still learning so much from this character. Yeah. Without King Kai, I can honestly say that the show would not have the level of depth that it would need to actually go to that extra level once they started going to space with Namek and everything. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm going to say that that is also my choice as well. And I'm going to add on to that, that monkeys are my favorite animal. And he is a pet monkey named Bubbles. And that's just, that's just, I love it. That's love for you. And let's not, let's not forget you. that. This man literally told Goku that oh, I'm yeah. not going to teach you to save your planet until you can make me slap, crack a joke. <laughs> like, no, that's not right. Yeah. I, I think that's badass. But, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I agree. That's okay. Man. I can't be mad at that pick. I I, <laughs> I was like, oh, God, that's a that's a good pick. I'm, I'm still Team Bulma, but that's not a bad pick. I yeah. will say that. I think Bulma needs to be way up higher. Uh, Paul, do yeah. you have one? Yeah, Paul. <laughs> My honestly, with the choice that I had when I heard the explanation for Kai, that makes a lot more sense to me. I totally agree with that. So, King Kai, shit. All righty, that's a great choice. That's a great choice. But you know what? Matt also has a choice and he gets to pick. So, all right, Matt, we'll judge. What's your choice? Sorry, Lamar. My actual choice before anybody said anything was King Kai. I was going to choose King Kai because I was debating between King Kai and Shinron himself. Because you know, I don't know if that would count technically. Yes, he's a character, but he is I mean, all being as well too. I had like Videl. <laughs> I mean, I mean wow. that's not. That, Videl, that's Videl, not Videl needs to be higher. Videl needs to be higher. Really? Yeah, Videl does that. need to be Videl higher. Videl right? needs to be. Videl, Videl needs to be higher. I think she's top fifteen. So you know what? Many, many, we're gonna have so many fights. Oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, it's gonna be. But here's what I'm saying. Wait, what, Robert? If we get the high, I will die on that hill. I will he, die he, on that here's hill. Here's what I'll say about nine. <laughs> now that we're at nine, I will bow. I will bow gracefully about King Kai. It's not a bad pick. Yeah. I yeah. still say it should have been King Kai is a solid I can't one. Fight, I can't fight King Kai. No, because King Kai Man, I'm gonna you this is a beast. With that, with that disrespect, if you put Shinra on anything higher than seven, I will annihilate you. No, 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 no. I was gonna. I, was I don't gonna think he should be on the list. <laughs> can, 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 no, he's on the list. He's on the list of my book because he is an Shinron's all. Shinron's on the list of top ten. How, it, first of all, how do you have Shinron on the list? A, B. How is Shinron on the list higher than Paranga when Paranga was trolling people? Okay, for, first of all, <laughs> one, he's high on my list because I like dragons. Simple as that. Uh, I think his concept and him as a character is the dopest shit known the fucking man. Even the, though, yes, the, it immortal, is, the immortal dragon that can only grant you, oh, yo, he died, I can't bring him back. That's cool. Look, nigga, if, if the, first fucking, the first fucking wish that was made in Dragon Ball technically was for a pair of fucking panties, and this giant-ass immortal being was like, you know what? Fuck it, sure. And granted this nigga, no. this damn pig, a damn wish of panties, automatically he's dope as shit in my but when, the, but, when, but, when we need, but when we needed the dragon most, the earth is, is, is doomed. Move these things into asteroid field. Nah, dog, I can't do it. That's, that's, hey, look, look, I, I'm not going to question an almighty dragon being, nigga. If he the says no, dragon, I'm going to uh, say can you, can you, Almighty? Excuse me, Mr. Dragon. I haven't seen my daddy in Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. We're, I hold can't up. do it. Hold up. Hold up. I throw in shit you on because I'm really number nine. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. The dragon can make you immortal. He can give you panties. He can make you 
He could send you all over the place. We hit our topic, the nigga. But I'm okay with King Kai. That's the main choice. King Kai is number nine. King Kai was a choice. Damn, we have more to pick. We have a whole stream show. I'm not doing this all day. You and Bruce. He got beat by half a lizard. He got beat by half a lizard. And his dragon couldn't bring him back to Earth. I agree Nigga, stop with being you. triggered. Stop. stop being triggered. I'm agreeing with you with fucking King Kai, okay? That's all that matters because I chose King Kai too. That's okay. all that fucking matters. All right. Number, <laughs> number eight, Judges Lamar. Okay. No problem. Jesus, tap dancing. Christ. Hold on. Right, look look at Robert, Robert I will Jr. Say, I will say that that was amazing. I uh, just want to say. <laughs> I agree. Okay. If I am 100% going to now just name characters to trigger him. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know that. Oh, I just can't. I can't. I can't right. get triggered because look, well, Dragon Ball is not even in my top ten anime. Oh shit! All right, All right. why are you here? No, no, nope. That's trigger number eight. Number you eight, motherfucker. <laughs> number eight. Uh, Robert, you know what? I'm gonna make you start. Number eight. What's number eight? All right, number eight. Okay, so this is where actually where it starts to get tough. These are characters that you actually want to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a huge swing there. I'm gonna say for. Not necessarily one of my favorite characters, but I think an important character for the series, Captain Ginyu. Pure comedic relief. This character was hilarious. He is the immortalization of the meme of Toku Sentai. And it's like, yo, every episode he was on screen, you could not stop laughing. Yeah. We are, we're, still, we're still doing the poses today. We're still doing the poses. Holy shit. Yeah, I love it. That's, that's a great pick. Uh, Matt. What's your pick for number eight? So my pick, depending on if this triggers his ass or not, <laughs> um, honestly, it's actually for you, Tyler. I need to ask: does a, does it have to be one character, or can it be like an organization? Uh, dep- I will say, I would say it, it depends. depends. On it it depends. Like if it's a red ribbon army, then yes. Yeah, like I'm talking about like red ribbon army as a collective. Okay. Um, because of the fact of I, what each because the androids were technically part of red ribbon, they were just created by. You know, uh, Captain or uh, what's his name, um, Doctor Jero, Doctor Jero, who like was yeah. part of Red Ribbon, but they were doing his bidding, not Red, Red, but not. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what so, I'm wondering. Like, does that is that considered a concept? Because otherwise, if Ribbon. that's not that, if that's not a choice, my choice would be Boma. <laughs> you know, Boma. I, I don't know. I feel like you can say. Wait, look, I feel like you should be able to say factions over army. Like, if you were to say yeah. Frieza forces. This isn't like just a giant collective, like the Red Ribbon Army. I feel like Frieza Force can itself be a character, or at least, at least, if we're gonna, if we're thinking Red, red if we're thinking Red Ribbon, I'm thinking like the core Red Ribbon, like Doctor Jero, uh, General, the General, the no, glasses and shit, like so, like, so. like shit like that, like the ones that would keep, like uh, I think the first Android, I think as well too, when Goku, when Goku. We had so, to fight through that tower and shit. Like I'm talking about, like that kind of. What like, I would say, uh, what I would say is that if the crew, if the group you're talking about as a collective had an individual agenda that caused a problem, like the Ginyu Force had an individual objective that caused a problem, I would say that's good. But the Red Ribbon Army itself, I would say you're talking about the henchmen and the basics. But if they had a title name, I don't think that should count. So Jero is a character within itself, and I would separate him from Red Ribbon every time. So is that other person. I would separate. But if you say the Red Ribbon Army as a collective, the idea of that being a full army, which was a big problem in Dragon Ball, I yeah. bow to that. But I wouldn't. But that's that's just like as a collective. That's like saying, you know, who was pretty bad in Call of Duty? The Nazis. Like, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. That makes so depending on how y'all feel about it, either my choice would be the Red Ribbon Army as a collective, okay, or it would be uh Miss Boma. I'm I'm gonna because we're this is a, a gray area, I'm gonna go with Boma herself. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got Boma Cam Ginyu. Alrighty. Um Okay, so for number eight, uh because I didn't make a list before. I'm doing this all kind of like as we're talking like the rest of us. Yep, oh, okay, good. Same. I didn't know if anybody else... Okay, so I'm actually... Gonna, no. Okay, because I love Bulma way too much, and I think she deserves to be higher, I'm going to pick Chi-Chi. <sighs> good mother. I mean, every... <sighs> I mean, you know, like, everybody's scared of her. Like, everybody is scared of her. She's, like, genuine. I I love her in Dragon Ball. She's so innocent and so cute, 
and like and like her with her dad and everything and she's just and then then like she's so different in Dragon Ball Z she just has this huge growth of being like a mom like before she's just like I have the whole world at my disposal and then in Dragon Ball Z she's like you just don't you fucking touch my son and it's like I love it that's that's my take. It's pretty good. It, uh, I just fuck. I agree with you, but like time travel, my nigga, Bulma made them. I'm just saying. I, that's because fuck. I'm saying Bulma needs to be top five, in my opinion. Uh, I'm, I, okay, I'm willing to. Yeah, I'm willing to accept that. Like that makes I'll, sense. I'll but, fight. Uh, um, okay. The thing I'll with, fight top five. A little the bit thing with Bulma, Bulma is that we would not have had this entire story without her. Nothing probably would have happened except for Goku just just destroyed everything. Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Bulma's got some weight to her, and she's my waifu. For life, Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2020, okay? I need this. I don't think anyone's gonna um, going to really agree with this choice. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I think 18 should be there because she was just so impactful as opposed to 17 when they first showed up to Earth. There was, like, a presence about her that was insane, and the way she just handles Vegeta was hilarious. <laughs> and it just made it... Just, it just, it made like this most the most lasting impression. I was like, "That's ridiculous." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's especially for where G- Vegeta was at that time. Like, yeah, exactly. Shit. It was yeah. like, okay, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I-, I do love Android eighteen. All right, All right Lamar, who- Damn, who'd your this pick? It's a good one. Whew. As, uh, I'm I'm not going to say my pick because my pick will never get approved. So I'm say just going to no, just it. say it. you got to say it now. <laughs> do it. You got to say it now. Do it. You got to. Because you, know, you never know, man. You can just all of a sudden throw a, a wrench in the fucking machine and we all agree with you. You never know. Honestly, honestly, this is eight. Yeah, this is eight. Oh, yeah, this is eight. Yeah, this is eight. I was going to say Goku. Mm, interesting. I, I, I mean, I'm now, not, I'm see, see, now, I'm now. That's not a bad argument, though. See, here's the, nah. here's why I'm putting Goku, right? I get he's the protagonist of the whole thing. Yeah. But has Goku honestly had any character development no. in the 20 years <laughs> Dragon Ball has been? Wait, up okay, hold up. When you say character development, we're talking about like a significant I'm change? About as or far as a significant personality change. No, that's what I can't stand. As about. far as he grows yeah. as a person, he has power ups. Yeah, and he, but he, there's never been a point in Goku's arc where he's had to learn humility, where he's yeah. had wait, to wait, learn wait, wait, to be wait. a good. Person. Wait, yeah, there is one. Wait, 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 Lamar. Uh, one thing I want to ask off the record because we have to keep this concise in the DBZ. Right. Two things. One, do you say that? Do you say that for the entirety of Goku's character, even to this point of what's happening in the sequel? Super is different. Are you saying- Super is wildly different. Super has some, they've gotten better writers. GT doesn't exist. Super is okay, different. So, so I will Dragon say Ball that- and Dragon Ball Z, if you look at Goku, he's a good person the entire time. And his entire premise is, I like my friends. I want to fight strong people. So I will say for the second part, you are kind of right. I will I'll say I'll say that you're right to the point as Goku's motivation for the core of his character. However, I will challenge you and say that Goku as a character does evolve and does learn humility because he does learn the first time the humility of his actions against Frieza because yep. he allowed the, the thrill of a fight to drag on longer, which caused Krillin to die. Then you also saw the humility in the fact that he said he should have finished him off when he got to Earth and he had a conversation with Trunks. He understood the severity of his actions when he wanted to train to fight the androids. Now, of course, he wanted to fight them for the sake of himself. But I would say the ultimate point of Goku's turning point, he had a chance to come back. He Goku is the one character that has a get-out-of-jail-free card, and no matter what happens, they're always going to wish him back. He chose to stay dead because everyone was after him just to give the earth a break. Mm-hmm. He chose to stay dead. He abandoned his he abandoned his unborn son. Uh-huh. He abandoned his home when he needed him the most uh-huh. and his wife. And he stayed in the afterlife. And they actually have the longest stretch of peace on that planet that blows up every other month. I <laughs> I 
would give you that. Yeah. I would give you that if Goku didn't renege on that very lesson the next arc. He reneged on that very lesson the next arc <laughs> to be fair, every time. To be, fair, he, to be fair, he reneged on it to save them. He used no, up no, 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 no. He used up his soul to go level three. He used up his soul and cut off all his time, but still saved Hold about on. five minutes to teach them the fusion dance. Frieza Saga, he learns that his hubris causes so much damage, which, by the way, caused so much damage, and he learned to kill Frieza. But the very next goddamn arc, he allows Cell to become Perfect Cell, and it throws his goddamn kid at it. And then when his kid loses his fucking mind, he goes, oh shit, I fucked up. I don't want to do this no more. And then the next saga, when Boo comes around, he gets relived and then literally says at the end of the Boo saga, I've kind of fixed this a long time ago, Vegeta. I'm giving you a chance to beat him. Goku didn't learn shit. He has a moment of clarity and then reneges on his thing wait, wait, every are you talking time. About, wait, wait, the, the Vegeta moment. Are you talking about when they were on the Supreme Kai planet? I think so, yeah. Okay, but they also further explain that in the manga. What happened is, is that oh, you no, have to realize no. do an anime no, man. Do not no, cross. I want, I want, do not cross manga. Manga. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. I hate no, no, you, no, no. Book readers. You cannot no, no. bring extra no, no. information. We do no, no, no. not. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it as the crux of my argument. I'm only going to use it as a supporting thing to explain what they were okay. doing in the anime. Okay. The whole. Thing, the whole point of that, you have to realize, too, is that Toriyama did want Gohan to be the end protagonist. Uh -huh. You have to look at it like this. Like, at the end, when Boo had absorbed all these people, uh -huh. Gohan went in and pretty much he destroyed everything. Uh -huh. you, Toriyama created this character that was too powerful after he absorbed Boo uh -huh. that Goku needed fusion. Then, once they removed the fusion, Toriyama uh -huh. realized that because fans were toxic, that he had to make Goku the hero. So what did he do? He nerfed the shit out of Boo, reverted him back to his original form of Kid Boo, and Goku goes, oh, we don't need fusion. I can beat him now. And, and he tried to do it in Super Saiyan 3. To add tension, they basically said that Boo had unlimited stamina, which is why Goku needed more time and why he threw Vegeta at him. Because what else was he going to do? Throw a Hercule and a dog at him? Uh-huh. I love so dog. Okay. I hear you. I think we should call it you. on this one. <laughs> I also know that you're supposed to have Lady Stormheart in the Game of Thrones, but guess what? The bitch ain't in there. So <laughs> I don't want Game of and, Thrones, so I can't I don't what? understand my reference. And I know that, that Ray Skywalker Ray was supposed to be a Skywalker, but guess what? She's fucking Palpatine. So the <laughs> bitch ain't in there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna vote Goku because I feel as if I don't want to take the power of my own pick. And I don't have enough overall support for Goku at eight. I, honestly, I would have so supported it. Put, put him at put him at eight because he's not even on the list. So I think he's terrible character. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I think right, the Lamar. person deciding shouldn't get it a pick because it gets weird. So, but I will put Bulma at eight. Okay. Yeah. Bulma has been we're gonna, we're gonna have words. Just, just to let you know, Lamar, we're gonna have words. But the race we can have words, but <laughs> we, 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 we do not bring it out, motherfucker. We, I don't give shit. We'll do Star Wars. We'll do some. We do not speak of the last pass. <laughs> All I'm, but alrighty, number seven. <laughs> number seven. Number Who's the judge for number seven? Robert is the judge for number seven. So, oh son of a bitch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start. Oh, God. The very first one I'm gonna put is Goku. I don't think he should be past seven. Uh, my I, same I would, argument. I would, why I would, I would agree with that as well. Actually, that was going to be that, seven. that was going to be my pick for number seven as well. So I will. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like I feel like I want to agree with that too because <laughs> I don't think Goku should be that, yeah. that, like that high. You're gonna go last but on this at one the though. Same time, oh, sorry. At the same time, I do feel like Fajita should still be lower than Goku in every universe. <laughs> I will fight you. Oh, I, yeah. I, I no. Like, mm, no. Mm, 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 mm. It, you listen to the other point. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Paul and Matt. Yeah, 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 the, judge, the judge goes last, so we'll do uh, Paul or, or Matt, whoever whoever wants to jump in before this explodes. Yo, Paul, you got one? Because I'm still thinking of mine right now. 
I because honestly, I, I, I kind of I kind of liked, uh, kinda liked Goku at that point. I had Goku in my head at seven or six, but it was kind of just because he's Goku. So it's yeah, like, same here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'd really put him in the top ten. Yeah, because yeah, like it's difficult. I, it's I, difficult. I like, put Goku deserves top ten because he is the protagonist. He is an interesting character. He's the most OP Superman on in entertainment. I get it. He deserves to be top 10. He does not deserve to be top 5 because he's had no real character development. I love Goku in, in Dragon Ball as well. He's always the same. It's like it's like you just expect it. You're like, yeah, he, it's, he's going to do his Goku thing and that's it. And it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, because I know... Cause I know, I know, hundred percent. My top five people, yeah, I, yeah, I ain't gonna agree with. I know oh, y'all. It's gonna be five. Totally I, I know it's gonna oh, be, it's gonna be, gonna be I know that's why we it's should we, 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 we should probably get to the next two rounds a little quicker then. Oh, okay. I, would, uh, I would say I would put Tien here. Tien? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, eh, not wrong. It's not really. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a bad one. Yeah. All right, all right, Matt. I, I was. I oh, shit. This is this is going to suck so hard. This is number seven, right? Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was going to put um, either Piccolo uh, Damio, the original Piccolo. Like, oh, like King, King Piccolo. King Piccolo. Piccolo. King Piccolo. 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 Don't you, don't you scare because... like that, man. No, so, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I was going to put King Piccolo at number seven because regular Piccolo goes a little bit higher on the list. Thank either you. I was, Either I was going to go with King Piccolo or Kamisama himself. Mm. As number seven, because they did play a significant part in Dragon Ball. Okay. But is itself. he really that interesting? Or, I, I, like I said, I just threw that in, but also I was going to also throw in Trunks as well, too. Mm. Because, like I said, my top five, y'all are not going to agree with. I guarantee Wait, no, you. No, totally fine. Trunks. The, but like, I, I see that thing is, is a also, very, very good question. No, yeah, I was it, say, it, it is just Trunks. Trunks. He's still Trunks. He's just Trunks himself. He's just always you Trunks. Know? It's always trunks. I understand what you're saying. Kid trunks and adult trunks is two different people two different in my people. head. You know, uh, so is Gohan as a kid, will, and Gohan as an adult, and the kid when he's a kid, he's a badass. Like, just saying. Gohan no, 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 is the property we're, we're of his only mother. Talking about DBZ. We're only talking about DBZ. So adult Gohan. No, we're talking about DBZ a, and a, Dragon Ball. Ball. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, both. Yeah, yeah, but Gohan didn't exist in Dragon Ball. He adult Gohan only really existed True. in DBZ. Yeah. True. Um, so that's I, why I, I'm throwing in King Piccolo, or at least King Piccolo, Kamisama, because they technically the same person. All that shit, you know. So, but just say Kamikolo. Just say Kamikolo. Yeah, Kamikolo. Yeah, go, let's go Kamikolo because it's kind of all combined. You know? I, 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 I agree. Here's with here's my here's my argument one more time. While all those characters are fantastic, I, I I cannot in good conscience vote pick Goku any higher, but I can do not in good conscience have a Dragon Ball Z greatest characters list without a Goku. I let's get him out of the way. <laughs> well, are you willing? Are you willing to sacrifice that instead of putting him at put him at six? Oh, we'll, or not? We'll, we'll are you willing to sacrifice this? No, oh, this would be. The, I, no, I, I, I don't think he can no. make. I don't know. I don't if he doesn't make it from here, he's not going to make it. Yeah. All right. At least he shouldn't. All right, Robert. He shouldn't Robert, who's your uh, who's your character? And then you got then you got to pick it. You got to pick it. Yeah, he's the final say. You know the thing is, is that Lamar makes an excellent point. Personally, you do need to get Goku out of the way because <laughs> he is the elephant. He's the he's the elephant in the room in any kind of list. It's, yeah, mm. you have, you have you have to give him his due because the story moves around him and he does drive the story forward. But he's also that elephant in the room where it's just like, go away. <laughs> it's like, just too much of you. It's just too much. Yeah. Personally, originally, I was going to say Vegeta because Vegeta's character development just annoys me. But Wait. I'm not going to throw that away. I'm not going to no, throw that no, away. I'm going to say, gonna gonna okay. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Goku too, just so we can keep him moving. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get him right, out of the goddamn Goku way. Number yeah. seven. So, if you are still listening, just just to keep a tally up, we have Hercule number ten, King Kai number nine, Bulma number eight, and Goku at number seven. And now we are moving on to number six.
And this time oh, it is me bad. as the judge. Okay. This oh, is real. This is, yeah, this is real. real. This, this is this is honestly, I think, mm. now like so hard. And uh alrighty, number number six. Who wants to go first? Master I, Roshi. I got it. Master Roshi. Master Roshi. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm arguing that. I'll argue that in a heartbeat because I think he goes higher. I think he goes higher. Okay. Roshi goes, higher? Uh, Roshi, my five? yeah, Roshi's top five in my book. Ooh, I, 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 you know what? I, you know what? I'm, 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 you know, I'm gonna agree with the strength of your argument. I'm gonna put a uh, Fujita in there. Fujita okay. six, yeah. just so he's not in the top five. Oh Fujita, shit! The first time Vegeta beats Goku or something. I'm fine with that. Well, see, this, my my thing is, is that as much as development as Vegeta has, and as much as a gem he is now. Yeah. We're oh we have we have to have uh tunnel vision and we look at DBZ. Yep. This motherfucker Vegeta is more responsible for shit than Goku has ever been in the arc in any arc of DBZ that he's been part of. Vegeta has contributed to the most deaths. He has relished in that death. Yeah. He has not grown as a person at all, really, in DBZ, and only learned humility and hubris when he actually allowed himself to become Majin. Realize the error of his ways because Goku wasn't taking him seriously and actually pretended to be a dad for all of 30 seconds and he didn't sacrifice himself. But guess what? The god of that world saw through all that bullshit and said, you ain't getting your body back and sent his ass to hell. And they only brought him back because they needed a body to throw at Boo. Vegeta is responsible for the androids. We saw what he did to his son who only wanted a hug. We saw yeah. everything he did on Nami. But he did dance and, and save the world. Good. I will give him that. He put an earring much. on to save the world. He put an earring on to save the world. But let's not forget, Kakarot, you're going to fight me. No, nah, we got to stop Boo. Well, I'm going to blow up all these stands of people to kill everybody just so that you would fight me. And Goku still didn't take his ass seriously because even with that power up, his ass was weak as shit. <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh God. Already. Okay. I just want to slam Vegeta, a, we still got. Who hasn't talked yet? Because okay. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be respectful, but. Ah! Okay. All right, Paul. Paul and Matt. Look! 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 look. Nope. If, if we're talking, if we're talking in super, which we aren't. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not talking about. No. 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 I know we We gotta let Paul talk. All right, Paul. Because we'll fight forever. I'm respecting those people. I'm definitely respecting that. That's why I'm like. That's why I'm struggling over here. It's it's rough. It's rough yeah. for me. <laughs> or Matt, whoever whoever has one. Uh, uh, what number is this again? This is number six. 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 Yeah, this is number six. Uh, as before, it, just I I personally think it'll be funny as hell to put Vegeta above Goku just for the pure irony itself. I I truly do. But I'm gonna throw in somebody that I don't know if y'all feel good about, and I'm throwing in Frieza. Oh, now, ooh. What? Low for me. Low it for is, me. It's, 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 Frieza, Frieza, Frieza is between uh, six and five for me. I'm going to be honest. Frieza's, he's, the, Frieza's, he's the best Frieza. villain in the entire series. Yes, that's I, my agree. Thing. I agree. Frieza is the best. That's the reason why Frieza's on the list as well, too. But there are still other characters I personally think are better and enjoy and all that stuff that is uh, higher than Freezer. But that's why I'm putting that at six. Because either it's going to be six or five for me. I can tell you this right now. I and know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you have that because I just want to know who do you think is better than, than Freezer turning Vegeta into a punching bag at the bottom of the river and just working on his back? For three look, episodes. Look, if, we're, if, we're, if we're talking Let's about bet. ass whoopings and shit, if we're talking about ass whoopings, technically mm-hmm. speaking, Frieza got his mm-hmm. ass whooped multiple times, as well mm-hmm. as Frieza got whooped for a fucking hour straight by mm-hmm. Brawly himself. And we are talking about DBZ. I forgot. You're right. My bad. Easy. I forgot about that. But okay, like, but I'm, it, I'm just I'm just throwing it. I'm just throwing it for ah, just the name. Just okay. throwing it in. It's fine. Okay, You're totally fine. Paul, Paul, you gotta have one by now. I I I kind of want to put Krillin here. Oh, see, ah, oh, fuck. I think Krillin's higher. Yeah, me too. Me too. It, yeah. It's like he might be, but at the same time, this this final six is kind of tough. So it's like, okay. yeah, I don't know. Um, all right. <laughs> I I can't. I don't know what's gonna happen since I'm the judge, and uh, my pick was Frieza with Matt. Uh, I was gonna say that as well. Um, yo, I, man, I do, yo, back me up, man. Come I on, I do love Frieza. the villain. <laughs> I do love the villain, and he doesn't have back any growth, 
except for in Super. Like you know, he he's just he's just he's just a villain. He doesn't really learn anything, and he is only in just one season. And so, because yeah, keep in mind but, we are keeping. Yeah. this is not Super, so like, it's not about it's not about fighting. Evil, it's not about freezer. fighting. It's about character <laughs> development. It's about Best it's about like villain. In the series, but we still have five yes, amazing. People. People. We still have five other fucking people. I'm that picking. Are more I, I'm, 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 I'm picking Frieza. I have met. Oh. I'm picking Frieza. He's the only. He's the only yeah. legitimate villain. Everybody else is the most. He's the best villain in the series. How did he? Okay. 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 Here's the thing. I bow that Roshi should have won. I can name eight other characters I like more. That's the thing. Yep. And we're on number six. Yep. Yeah, that's, but that's who has the better? The dude, those other eight have better charisma than Frieza. Yes. Yeah. That's why they're on my list. Literally. Yeah. Oh, I, I got it here. Uh, all right. All right. I I I can't. I I final I'm decisions, full. Tyler. Final I'm decisions. I don't. I, I chose Frieza, and you guys can. We can. We can duke it out too. Who, who's using their? Who's no, using I have to save it? mine because I, I, I know what, some are coming. What? Summer coming. Um, everybody, everybody save me for the top five because those are the yeah, we're waiting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So nobody are we are we going with Frieza? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we go with Frieza. All right. Yeah, we'll go go Frieza. Go Frieza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. Our judge again goes back to Paul for uh number five. So no oh, man, this is gonna be insane. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna get rough. <laughs> Will the Dragon Ball Z podcast go to episode two? Find out next time. Okay. Um, this is our top I mean, five, right? This is our top, top five. Your top five, baby. With re- with respect, because I know he's not going. Mm, I feel as if he's not going to go much higher. This is where I'll put Krillin. I'll put Krillin here as yeah, really unfortunately, cool. arguably the strongest human on Earth. Yeah. The strongest human in the universe, honestly, I believe. I. Um, I- I personally be. will put him at four, but I would put I him at three. Debatable, debatable, case, debatable human, that's debatable, but yeah. I will agree with you. I, I, I will, will say Krillin you. belongs here. Okay, yep. Krillin's the most ride or die friend Goku has. Yep. Krillin is yep. also the most bravest person because he is not strong enough to be in the situation. He's not afraid he's in. of death, mm-hmm. and he's he gets in there every time, and he he tamed that android man. I will he say, tamed yeah, it, brought her down. I love yep. Krillin on Namek. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, me too. Mm-hmm. Oh, him and Short Round are great on Nimic. I'll do number five because I know he's not on anybody's list, Ooh. but he's personally one of my easy top three favorite characters. But I know he's not worth getting there near the top, so I'm gonna give us some shine. Uh, Bardock, Bardock, number five. The dad, okay. Nah, I don't. I, uh, I, mean, I don't agree, but I, put, I mean, he's just I, put a... Bardock, I put Bardock up there one because when he was introduced for the lore. We actually finally got a little bit of history on Saiyans before all we knew was that they <laughs> came and they blew it up and they screamed. But, I mean, when you think about Bardock, and you don't even have to look at the new material, you can actually make the argument that maybe on some subconscious level, Goku's character development actually may have came from his dad. You have literally one low-class warrior that knew he was going to die, tried his hardest to save his people, and he went toe to toe with Frieza. He knew that he was going to die. He he put his son on a pod. He sent him somewhere to be safe, and he had no fear and no qualms about doing that. And you can't say something like that wasn't passed on down to Goku because literally Goku embodies Bardock's last and most noble stand. Never mind the fact that what he does in the outside media. If you want to talk about movies that do exist in DBZ, you can make the paradoxical argument that he is the legendary Super Saiyan. My uh, choice was also Krillin as well, too, but I'm also going to throw in my character because I know y'all ain't going to like this. Or, yeah, actually, he ain't going to get higher on the list on y'all books anyway, so I was going to throw him in. I'm throwing in Master Roshi. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. That's good, though. Okay, this is going to be a tough one for that now. I'm I'm throwing in Master Roshi only be purely because of the fact that he, I'm pretty sure he is not on no one else's top four. Actually, okay. to be honest, Rasa Roshi is my my number three. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you, but because I really don't yeah, think yeah, he's yeah. gonna get up higher for y'all, I'm throwing him at five. In in DBZ, he's your three because no, if I'm we added girl. Super, no, I would not. easily put him in three. <laughs> Wait, we hard to no, but I'm talking just all the Dragon Ball itself. I'm even talking about his alter ego when he's Jackie Chun mm-hmm. as well Chun. too. Yeah, yeah, him in the tournament yeah, as well yeah, too. Yeah, you Dragon know? Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, 
I mean, I, Dragon Ball, he was fire. Yeah, uh, he was fire. fire. Uh, See, that's why the uh, first time we saw him bust out of Kamehameha, <laughs> as well as the first time we actually saw him get buff as shit, yep. as well, too. And then we found out about his secret identity as Jackie Chun and make Goku fucking fight. They both ran out of energy, and they had to do a hand-to-hand -hand fucking combat in Dragon Ball. But I'm just throwing him at five because I don't think he's going to get higher. No, it's it it's, it's, makes sense. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to say mine is Gohan. And Ooh. so this is why I have him higher. I have him higher. But yeah. Oh, okay. I have him cool. higher too. Well, yeah. no. Okay. So I'm saying Gohan because I was worried that he wouldn't be on the top five. Now, again, this is just top, you know, characters. This isn't about strength or anything else. This is about character development. Um, you know how how they are, their story arcs, and everything. Like this is just a culmination of them as characters. And Gohan has, I think, a really great story of <laughs> not having a dad, but Piccolo. You know, taking him off and uh, and trying to train him and trying to you know try to make him become this monster, uh, to basically giving everything and just throwing it away, and like also trying really hard and trying to create a persona of great Sandman, and then just giving it all up to really stu like, to study and to try to be better, and then falls in love. Like I just I just like Gohan's story arc of just being this monster and like po possibly one of the strongest beings and you know. Around, I agree with you, Tyler. And I truly I agree, but I think that's higher. No, I mean he would have been like look, my number. He would have been my number four, look, honestly. But yeah, but I, I'm just gonna throw in Gohan just in case. Here's the only reason why I would fight Gohan here, and I might be using rhetoric here, but please forgive me. You're fine. Gohan has the best story of an urban child with a mother doing his best, her best, mm -hmm. and yes, growing up. Yes, he had yes. a sick, for, let's, let's be honest, Gohan had a single mother that said, education is the best thing you can have. You can fight like your daddy, but education is going to keep you alive and fed. She yep. doesn't want him doing the same gangbanging shit his father's into, but all he wants to do is get information with his dad, ends up running with the crew, getting into a bunch of trouble, but still comes back home. In his teenage years, he's angry. He finally spends an entire year with his father, and he gets in so much trouble, but he's angry, and he doesn't know what to do with it. His father finally <laughs> figures out that it's the wrong thing to do, and then Go Gohan is perceived as a punk bitch by the Common Core because he's decided to be educational. Yep. Uses his power in education to try to save people, still called punk. And then he never became as strong as his dad ever was, but he's alive. He has a family, and they're clean. That is a that is a BET story. If I've <laughs> wait, wait, ever wait, Lamar, seen Lamar, it, Lamar, Lamar, there's one thing you forgot. Gohan hmm. was discriminated against for his hair when he came out of oh, the high yeah. school time. Period. They called him just monkey and everything. Showing, just because he was showing his heritage, like his daddy, wearing his super saiyan locks, he was discriminated against at every turn. Jesus, yeah. So I mean, I I love. So, like, again, we're on the top four of like a, of a show that has yeah, seven hundred. Yeah, that's I mean, Gohan, 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 Gohan is is Gohan is higher for me. Even if Gohan I can give him, also higher. even if I give him four or three, yep. but five, I think it's Krillin. I think Krillin's the best human. I think Krillin's been the best friend. I think Krillin's been ride or die. I think he's been whoever else has been saying. But I think Krillin belongs here, then Gohan. But that's me. But it's not my pick. Uh, so I also have uh, Krillin floating uh, here. Yes! After... <laughs> I also, I also have, I feel like since I don't think he's going to go any higher given how he feels about him, but I think, I think Vegeta would go well here too. Uh, for the, for just for the, like, I understand that he is obviously an idiot and makes a lot of mistakes. He's a dumbass, but everyone kind of forgets the little things that were actually huge, like saving Krillin's ass. We didn't fucking yep. have to yep. at all. <laughs> and he yeah, but he saved him for himself, though. You know, like, yeah, but, like uh, he, he, he could let him die and say, "I don't give a shit." That's for Vegeta. Vegeta had he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to do that. Heart. And and when, when Frieza killed him and he was dying, he told Goku all that shit. It was like, "Don't let him fucking do this." Yeah, all of a sudden, I, I know, he fucking also, cried. He I, fucking I cried. And then Goku was like, "You never even got to know, like be who you wanted to be. You just been forced. What the fuck." I think that I was amazing when Goku told him that afterwards because like you, it makes sense that he's actually been he's trying to like figure out who he's trying to be. He doesn't even know. He's just angry, and he does all this shit. But every now and then he does something good, so it means he wasn't always truly bad. So I, 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 mean, think I, spoke, I thought that spoke volumes as a character that you just couldn't see it Lamar, until later. That's Lamar. why Vegeta's higher for me. 
I'm willing. I'm really. I'm about to say. I want. I want to agree with that. And you <laughs> make a good point. And I'm not. I'm not saying you're not wrong. Vegeta was angry. He had a fucked up childhood. I 100 there. But when it was time to show up, this nigga did exactly what he's known for: making <laughs> fucked up <laughs> decisions, and fucking up everybody else's shit on the way through. Okay, I get it. Freeze if you said they don't do that. that but when Vegeta's on point, that shit's fucking fun to watch. Nah, man. I'm gonna fight the androids. We're gonna play around. I'm gonna do what I want to do. <laughs> but it's, but it's the story. Android, android, android. It's the, the story android, android. of an angry oh. man. Like, it's, it's, it's the story of an angry man. man. Yeah. But, but if, you get... wanna prove, if you want to prove that you better, here's your son, the quote unquote savior from the future, as y'all trying to put him out to be. This is what you need to do. Nah. For what we gonna do is we gonna no. let the strongest person ever created come to fruition because <laughs> I want to try out my power. No, and no. Vegeta was teaching that boy to stop being soft. Vegeta was teaching him in the same way. He was doing <laughs> good. He did more the than Goku way? ever did. I will the fight, same way? I will the same fight way? Vegeta. Okay. Anyway, no, I can't. We can't do this forever. We can't do this forever. So, so tell me this, Lamar. How good is that saying? Way with the Vegeta, Prince of Noah? Vegeta's gonna come back. I, I I guarantee you, he's gonna come back. Paul, who's the winner or who, who's who's number five? Oh God! Oh. After after all that, I'm have I have to go with uh with I think this this is definitely still this point all that a good spot for Krillin. Krillin, got it. Oh, thank you. Krillin is number five. Oh. On to number four. Wait, who's number five? Krillin. All right. No. It's just, it's, it is really a good spot for him. Honestly. Yeah, we, we have Hercule, King Kai, Bulma, Goku, Frieza, Krillin. Now number four. This is, really, again, and then Matt, you're going to be our judge on this one. I'm going to start this one off. On this one, I'm going to say Vegeta. Yeah, I'm playing Vegeta here as well. I'm I, putting I, Trunks here. You're playing Trunks for Robin. Trunks, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here comes the fights. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the fights. Already, already, Matt. Matt, we all voted. That was really quick. It's Vegeta, oh, Trunks, or whoever you want. Like, I still personally want Master Roshi as fucking number four. That's totally I fine. Really do. That's going to be your, okay, oh, that'll, that'll be your pick. But okay, then, wait, hold on. If I, if, I chose, if I chose Master Roshi, would, do y'all uh, really object to this or not? Honestly, no. You're the final say. We technically they, can't. They, 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 no, they, but they, at least they, I don't want to make the final they, say. At least I want to at least hear in a perspective. I want to hear a perspective. No, no, no. Real They're quick. not going to object because they want Vegeta higher. You're playing their game. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is not the game. It's not the game. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I, I have my top three. Yeah, I have yeah. my top three. I have my top I have three. My top three. Well. Okay, Matt. I have my I, top two. I have to fight for my top three. Uh, I think our number one should be co- concise. Okay, I, okay. I, I, okay. I'm going to be honest. Going by how this is, I think our number ones are all the same, I think. I truly think so. It shouldn't be. Yeah, I don't, I it don't is know. It's because okay, we're all black. That's the only yep. reason why I think we're all black. Okay, then just gave that away. I, mm, <laughs> I will. <Okay. laughs> I, oh, well, this is going to be fights. Okay, all right. Matt, Matt, you, Matt, make a choice. Okay, I'm cool. To, I'm cool to see this uh, argument fight out. Yeah, let's put Vegeta on the list. Vegeta's number four? Yeah. Okay, now I have to find another top three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, next round is going to be Lamar. Lamar is the... Is the, is the... <laughs> uh, he's going to be a bitch and just... Okay, uh, he bitch. Uh, you, hear that, you hear that evil black man? Okay. Voice? Do you want me to... Should I go Should I go first on number three? Or... Because I feel like everybody... Sure. Okay. Mine's gonna... No, go ahead, Tyler, because you're going to... Oh, no, we already did... Oh, shit. No, oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to do Gohan. Gohan. Because I forgot Krillin is not... Has already been taken. Mine's Gohan. Oh shit! Here we go. Yeah, we're about to get, we're about to get real. I love. I love again. I love Gohan. I'm just saying. It's just I have my top two. You know, it's just it's my, I have my top two. All right. Well, I'm gonna go second because I okay. can already see what this is gonna turn into. I'm gonna say number three, Cell. Oh, oh fuck! I, cell. Ah, I love you, my nigga. I love you with a passion. I love Cell, but Frieza's already there. Frieza, Frieza's already there, and he's a better villain. I have Cell at number three because I do have a one and two. Cell, I feel like, isn't really a villain. He was just somebody that was constructed to fight Goku. Yep. You have the character that has literally everybody's best He was trait. like Doomsday and for Superman. Yeah, pretty he much. Everybody's best trait. He was the most charismatic person on the show. He had the best banter. 
He literally encompassed everything you wanted in an arc, and he had the best one liners. And let's not let's not kid ourselves. Out of the entirety of all of DBZ, Goku versus Cell that first round when they were warring up, and we really thought that was a real fight. Everybody rushed home to to the lobby to watch the second part of that fight when they said it's time for warm up. Come on now, that was the best fight before they even started fighting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was, that was a. Dude. That's hard to argue. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention, this was actually the only villain who had an end game that didn't care. Frieza only destroyed the planet because he knew he could survive. Cell did it for the simple fact that no one was going to beat him. Period. And when he came back, he talked even more shit. And he could back it up. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. No. Cell did give us a shit ton of AMVs with Linkin Park lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, it's not. Yeah, right. let's, let's, you know what? And even though this doesn't really have that much to do with it, but I just want to put it out there just for bias. Let's not kid ourselves that Team Four Stars portrayal of Cell was not one of the most funniest things we've yeah, ever got. Funny I'm trying to. Rem- yeah. I'm trying to keep myself from thinking of Team Four Star when they do all this because it changes so hard, right? It changes so much. So what, what I got, we got ridiculous. Gohan and Cell so far. Okay. Yeah. All right, Paul. Oh, Cell made it so much harder. I might have to go yeah. with Cell. I like. I literally forgot about Cell right until you brought it up. Me too. <laughs> oh, such, yes, I have to go with Cell. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's fucking funny. There's so many characters. It's actually difficult. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's hard. When it, when it got to the top five, I told you guys it was good. When I didn't hear Cell in the bottom six, and I was like, okay, y'all must have forgot. Because nope. y'all put Frieza way too down nope. low. Cell was number it's three for me. In my head, Frieza was here. Really? Yeah, I agree. I, I thought Frieza was, was here. here. I, was I was that. originally going to put I wanted to put Cell in Frieza's spot, but when all of, when everybody was gung-ho about that, I was like, all right, I'm going to put Sal on top three. Can we, I already know who my can we, co- if we, if we, nope. to, we, we co- co- I was about to say, can we collectively just agree to switch those two? Nope. No. 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 It's already been done. against the rules, sir. This is a bloodbath. Uh, my choice was, uh, was Cell, but, uh, I had another choice that, once again, I know no one will agree with. Okay. Uh, mine is the Ox King, because I love his ass. I love but, Ox King. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Like, it's not like a serious thing, but he's just I, personally I one mean, of my bro. top three favorite characters. <laughs> like, I love him to death. His, the love, way his personality is from Dragon Ball, even when he shows up being all happy and everything with his big ass beard and his motherfucking being a giant. It's awesome. But, y'all ain't gonna take that serious, so my choice is Cell. Okay. I would have taken that seriously because yeah, uh, I love Octane. I per- I like Lime. I like Ox King. Yeah, nobody remembers Lime. Okay, so pretty much it's pretty much split Gohan Cell because I'm also picking Gohan here. Okay. Ooh, really? Okay, so we so, weren't all in agreement on who number one was going to be. <laughs> oh, that's, no. what, that's what I was wondering. No, we don't agree so, with that, but I know who my number one is. I know so, who my number one is too. I got. I, I cannot, and I'm admitting this flaw in myself. Okay. I cannot separate DBZ cell <laughs> to four star cell. <laughs> They're too close, <laughs> and it's fantastic. With that said, we should have voted cell earlier. <laughs> I think we all agree on that. Yeah. I think we fucked up. Can we, could, Tyler? No. I mean, you're, you're the oh, class. absolutely not. Him? Oh God, no. Oh, <laughs> if we God. if we go if we go back and retroactively switch them, then you have no. the argument of then are these characters argument. better than Cell? That's the problem. <laughs> then we have to have the argument: Does Goku deserve to be worse? Guys, wait, what, guys, what? my vote. We got to sleep in that grave, man. We we dug it, so yeah, yeah. we dug. I have no regrets. My vote. Hashtag. Don't fuck up. It's going up. to be. Don't fuck up. Gohan. Yes. Thank you. Alrighty. Is there... You son of a oh, bitch. bitch. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Alrighty. Anybody? Anybody? I gonna... can't believe you will put Gohan at number three. Wait. Are you? Are, I... you, are you debating? Are you, is it? Wait. I see. I, I don't. I want. I want to debate. But see, the thing is, is that Gohan does not see. The thing is, is that. 
do I debate, do I want to sell at three, or do I debate to just get Gohan off the list? That's yeah. the hard part. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. Gohan is not gonna make he's one somewhere in my he's somewhere in my one and two. And so I I think or what is really gonna happen is, is that the number two is probably what we all agree on, and number one is gonna be super fucked up. That's what yeah. Nope, me. nope. I can tell you right I, now I it's not gonna I don't agree. think so. I, don't I think can so. tell you right now. I, I can tell you right now. Can we just not beat around the bush and actually say the name? Like no, no because no, then no, no, people no, listening have, no, have no, to no, no, look no, forward to it. Here's the thing about Gohan, right? I think Gohan has the most interesting story as far as the individual's uh internal struggle, right? Between yeah. being a child wanting to please both his mother and his father, who both have very strong personalities, having this whole same blood and human blood, trying to balance both. I think Gohan has the best story, and I think his battle with Cell was the most emotional thing we've seen in Dragon Ball, and I don't think they've done anything that raw and emotional since. Then why would you uh, put him at number three, then? And No, no, no. 100% agree with you, but also, too, the reason why he should be higher is that you have to look at Gohan's di- dichotomy. Gohan is the existence of so many conflicting personalities, and he's actually the bridge between two of the characters that actually spun this whole story. Gohan being Goku's son, but actually, you know, encompassing the demon style, being I'm you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna argue okay. because I really, I really don't care about the one. <sighs> All right. Okay, here's here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know we're now doing the debate part, and you want to actually have a whole thing, Tyler. But here's the thing. I need Gohan on this list. I'm afraid he's not going to make the list. He's going to make the list. He's going to make the list. He just, he if he makes he the list, will. I will bow to Sal. Because I, will, I like he, Sal. I, I need him, him to make the list. I will give Gohan so, the two guarantees. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This is only between low. Robert All and, uh, and Lamar. All right. Oh, well, you know what we could do? What we could do is this. If you're so gung ho about it, I'll, I'll let it slide. And then, just for the sake of the podcast, we can debate the top three because I feel like that's the one that's really going to be there. And we mm-hmm. can debate afterwards. But if you're that gung ho about it, because I feel like if we sit here, we're going to go in circles because we both want to go on on this list. Yep. See, before I wasn't too sure you wouldn't have on the list. All right. All right. I will do this. I will bow. Okay. And say that Cell belongs at three. I need my vote. And I'm going to be miffed (laughs) if he's not on this goddamn list. Okay. So are we voting for Cell now? I'm voting for Cell now. Okay. The judge has decided unless anyone else wants to fight this. I think think we're all in agreement there. So number two. Who's the judge? Number two, the oh, judge two is, is Robert. <laughs> and so you put me in this fight. You put me in a super fucked up position right Robert? now, Lamar. <laughs> Robert, this is all clean, Robert, dog. You, because you already, you already <laughs> threw away your hand, and you just admit you just gave us a spoiler. We both agree he should be on the list. All okay. I said was Robert? he was too low. You Robert? said he's not the number one, Robert. No, that my vote for number, number two, two. Okay, Robert. Okay, is Gohan. Okay, I'll filibuster this shit. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna, gonna topple my number one. No see, one's gonna topple my number one. one. Number see, two. The thing is, see, the thing is, I know who your number one is now, and the thing is, all y'all fanboys be <laughs> riding the only black man in Dragon Ball Z. To <laughs> now, he's one. not the only black one. There's an entire planet of niggas. They went there to save him from first the Nazis. Of mm-hmm. <laughs> first, okay. of all, first of all, first of all, I'm a little bit upset you compared us to some slug people, but we didn't. <laughs> not you, wanna be, uh, <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Because, because you know what? I want to save this. I want to save this. If I get invited back, because I'm actually this is my first podcast, oh, yeah. I'm having a blast. Oh, congrats! I, if I get invited, if I get invited back, I will have this debate with you, Lamar. But I'm going to give this to you because we both have an agenda. So we yep. both yep. go hard. Yep, 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 yep. It's true. You can't do that yet. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying for mine because I'm the judge, and we all know what's going to happen. So I'm going to say. My vote is for Gohan, even though he's the undisputed number one character. We're gonna give him number two because 
because we observe, we observe him. We observe him. Uh, uh, we lost we Chad with the right now. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we, observe <laughs> we observe him. We observe him. So oh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't leave that number oh, one. Oh, Matthew, you at least have to say your votes. For for what? Like, yeah, yeah for, Matt, Matt we, come on. We still on number three, right? Or we know number, number two? two. No, we know number two. two. Oh, number two. Oh, number two. Oh, okay, oh, I would oh, say oh. number two is Gohan. Like, okay, yeah. I know my yeah. number one. Okay. Uh, Paul. Gohan. Tyler. Uh, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> I swear to God, if you say launch, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> no. Okay, hear it out. <laughs> Who are? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> um, oh, God. Okay. 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 Let's just, let's just all just relax. Okay. Let's, let's just. <laughs> Famous word before bullshit. Tyler, (laughs) Tyler, I, 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 we're pretty copacetic here, Tyler. I, I really love Dende. Um, I want, I want you to, Tyler, Tyler. I know why I'm new, but I just want to remind you, you are in a podcast with a bunch of niggas. I, I love, I love Dende. I love Dende so much. Um, I still have my original figure, Tyler. I know. I'm just saying. I love Dende. That's fine. It's, it's, it's written. It's written. It is, it is. Tyler, this has been a rough. This has been a rough year on black people. Yeah. I want you to really think about what you're about to say. What? I'm still. Wait, I'm wait, still not over if, Kobe. What I'm if, really thinking. What, what if, you what if he just dropped Tyler? What if What if Tyler just drops Lord Slug out of fucking? Nowhere? I said Dende. <laughs> I've already said mine like four times. Dende. 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 <laughs> Garlic Jr. Anyway. No, oh, Dinsay. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> um, no, what's his name? Uh, okay. uh, Pilaf. Pilaf. Okay. Pilaf. So it's Pilaf and no, Gohan. It's Dinsay. It's Dinsay. It's, it's, Dinde. it's, Dinde. it's, Dinde. it's Dinde. Pilaf and Gohan. So Lamar, Gohan. It's fucking Lamar Gohan. Okay, so it's Gohan. Get the shit, shit, yeah. get shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're now at number one, right? We're on... So, one, one, we, so you know what? Let's okay. let's just all say it at the same time because we all know what it's gonna be. Let's just all uh-huh. say it. Let's okay. hope and this the truth. Chow Tzu. One, two, three. Take away. A thousand percent. Yeah, thousand percent. Yeah, thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 Yeah, was, uh, now I'll, just so anyone listening, that was one hundred percent bias. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> if we was actually doing this with like really thought. He might be four or five. He might be two. No, no, two or three. Yeah, but yeah, two. Or three, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So, so I had him at two. Since, since I had him at two. Gohan is my number one. Since I'm the judge and I want to be funny, um, I'm I'm gonna say the Ox King. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. It's gonna be Piccolo. Um, yeah. I, I, hey, I, I, Paul, 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 did you Paul, actually agree with that? Yeah, Paul. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, let me make sure. What the Wait, you what? You said Yajirobe? No. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, 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 somebody get the liquor away from Paul, please. I love somebody. it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. He I, did I, save. Wait, no. He did save the world from Gohan. He did. Yeah. He <laughs> did cut off the tail. <laughs> he he said he saved the world. No, he, said he cut off the Judas tail. Vegeta tail. Vegeta tail. Vegeta tail. <laughs> yeah. He bought he oh. bodied Goku for 20 minutes. We forgot about Corbin. No, okay. no, 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 wait, wait, okay. I take it back. He did deliver Sensu beans. Yeah, he, was, he was that. He was the original DoorDash for them Sensu beans. <laughs> <laughs> yo, anytime Goku was out of was out of luck, yo, post baits. Yeah, Yajirobe, I need them beans. Yeah, Alrighty, guys. Where we came from. We are at. We're at the Seen final. Shining we're at the final stretch, you guys. Okay, well, first off, our top ten is gonna be number one Piccolo, number two Gohan, number three Cell, number four Vegeta, number five Krillin, number six. Frieza, number seven, Goku, number eight, Bulma, number nine, King Kai, number ten, Hercule. I like this list except for Hercule. I am not gonna lie. I think Android eighteen is missing yeah. out of this list. Like, what the yeah, fuck? I blame, I blame y'all niggas. Y'all, y'all we, we fucked were, up with Hercule. We were, we were too co- we were too Cause. soft early. We were too soft too early. Y'all just y'all just we were. The world this is a damn thing that Vegeta ain't even on the list. But he now, was just a man with a dream. You hating on Hercule? He took a dream of being world champion, 
turned that to a multi-billion Crucial dollar company. Is white privilege. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Now it's time for the what bottom you mean? five. He has, he has dynamite kicks. Dynamite. <laughs> Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, all right, guys. Man, man don't, 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 act, don't, act, don't, act, don't act. Hey, hey, yeah. Lamar, don't, don't be, don't be. Hey, you saw him on TV. He was moving so fast. Bruce Leroy Bush. He was moving so fast, so didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, you guys are dumb. All right, are we gonna do the bottom five? You guys down? Yep, I'm ready for the bottom five. All right, we're gonna start yeah. with number five. Number one being the worst DBZ character ever. Oh. We're going to be starting with you know, five. That's what we're doing now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's yes. the judge? Uh, this judge. Okay, so it would have been me, so it's going to be Paul. Uh, Mary. Where's Mary? Number five uh, is Mary. What? Who? Mary? Wait, we're starting, we're starting Mary. at number 10 for worst character, right? No, number no, five. Sorry, no, five. five. We're only doing five. Five, five, five worst. Okay, Marin. Who's five Marin? Okay. Exactly. exactly. Marin okay. was Marin. <laughs> Marin was Krillin's girlfriend for a bit of a oh, filler. Oh, that Marin. She, she was, showed uh, up, <laughs> took all his money, and bounced. Jesus. So basically, so basically you see that blue-haired girl that was singing that uh, Kanye West song, Gold Digger? That's basically, that's who Marin was. Yep. Dude, you got to yeah, tri- clarify that, dog, because, you know, Marin daughter is also named Goku. Marin. But, hey, hey, you can't really Ooh. say she was the worst character because Krillin named his daughter after her. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So you can't really say she's the worst dog. We also okay. have Bulma and Vegeta name their kids off of clothing. So yeah, uh, because Bulma Bul- is Bulma's whole family is named after clothing. Yeah, her whole family. Briefs. Bulma. Is, Bulma. Yeah. Okay. So mine. Mine is gonna be uh, for number five. Number five. Number five. Ooh, I'm actually okay. I, this is gonna be controversial. Android seventeen. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I don't like well, Android seventeen. Cool Hold on. You know what? You know what? I get. I can. I can understand that, and I give you that. If we're looking in tunnel vision of DBZ, I'm yeah, not going to argue with your reason yeah, for that. So you know you that. what? You're not. You're not wrong. Yeah. Actually, he's just, with just DBZ. You're he's not wrong. Talking. Super changes a bunch. It's a yeah, different yeah, yeah. character, basically. I've heard, but yeah, I, uh, but yeah, but like in DBZ, he just copies of what Android 18 says, and then he gets mad and emo and edge lord, and then dies. Like. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I, I can kind of agree because even though we we got less of that Android 17 and DBZ, if you combine his character with future 17, those terrible one-liners, yo, that character was kind of terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was, that's my uh, Android 17. Uh, for me, um, am I stepping on your toes, Lamar? Are you going or no, Lamar? You went uh, with Marin. I said Marin. Marin. Oh, okay, I would say worst character. We're starting at the bottom, moving our way up. No, no, no. Well, we're on the fifth worst to the worst. Yeah, the fifth to the most worst. worst. Yeah, we're starting at number five and we're working our way up. Somebody who I hate, but is the least amount of hate. Um. Go Tanks. I hate that character. Wait. Go Tanks. You mean... Uh, Oof. Uh, wait, Trunks Go and Tan Go- and... Tr- yeah. That's Go Tan and Trunks. Tr- 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 yeah. Okay. That character was annoying as shit. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people can say something <laughs> about Go Tan. <laughs> uh, I've never... Yeah, liked, I was gonna I've never liked Go Tan. I never cared for Go Tan. I just didn't. Yeah. All right, Matt. Uh, Mine is a tie between... Um, you can't do that. Oolong, the pig. And Ooh. if anyone remembers, I know a girl's name, R.I.L. In the, in the series. Really? Dr. Slump? Yeah. She actually shows up in Dragon Ball. In Dragon Ball Z. I want why, do you hate, why do you hate yeah. her? I, I don't hate her. I just don't see a point in her. I like I, She has, to me, has no significant part of the series. Who is this? Exactly. But that doesn't That's mean. The point. But that doesn't no, wait, hold on. Let me share a picture real quick. Hold on. Let me share a picture. I can share a picture. Wait, here we go. Hold it doesn't on. mean good, for, good for much good radio. Wait, wait, but yeah, wait, you can share a picture. I don't know idea what you just did. Basically, she's kind of she's basically into. Uh, look, at, look at the. Oh. Look at the Thank you. You see who? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I have. There's no point in significant. I don't see. Any reason she was like put into this like damn her, series yeah. whatsoever? It, it, it's just a nod to the anniversary of Doctor Slump. Yeah, which is, that's all it was. Which is which is 
that's perfectly fine. But then, like, there's other ways to add, like, Nas to it and shit. But I'm just saying, there's no point in her in the series. I really don't see a purpose. That's it. That's literally, I mean, I'm not hating. I mean, I'm just I, mean saying I feel the same thing no about uh, by, that same, by that same logic, you could say that we don't need the Troyama bot. Like, yo, it's the word of God. He wants to, you know, be like, yo. They're in the same universe. Yeah, I I get it. Like I said, I understand 100. I just personally see no point in this character whatsoever. If this was top ten, she guarantee on my top ten. But since we're doing top five, I'm just throwing her name in the thing. Either that or uh, Oolong, the goddamn pig, who's just a pervert and sad. That's it. Yeah, but Oolong was funny though. I don't know, dog. It sounds sound like it sounds like some salt in there. But you know, I'm gonna leave that alone. None whatsoever. None. I think she the design is wonderful. She's adorable as shit. I just really see no point in her in the series. That's it. Okay. That's it. All right. So, Paul, your pick, and then your pick. Uh, it's actually harder than I thought. A lot of characters are kind of terrible. Arle was a good... That was a good one. <laughs> I forgot how random she was. And when I first saw her, I was like, what the hell is this? Wait, who? Oh, man. <laughs> like, what's the... There, like, no point. I don't, I don't get it. I didn't know what was going on. That's, that's, Wait, so, Paul, like what, what's heard. your pick? Or, or what's your character, and then... My your... my personal pick was Burter. Was Burter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Burt. Yeah. Um, um, you are you hating, you're hating on the fastest man in the universe? <laughs> A fastest <laughs> man in the universe. <laughs> 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 <I> Burter. <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do it like Team Four Star, like Lamar says. Jace goes, but wait, if Captain Kid you has a higher power level, what you be faster? <laughs> Just give me this, Chase. Burner's <laughs> um, not a bad pick, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, but, uh, you're, you're, you're right. Okay, alrighty, Paul. But who is the fifth worst? Uh, I think. I think I think seventeen was a good was a good pick. I agree. Seventeen. I agree. I was tied my head between seventeen and RLA for a while, but I'm gonna go with seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Alrighty. Number four, and uh, the judge this time will be Matthew. Um, I, I think I'll start on this one. Uh, um, so mine is gonna be a little controversial. I just think he was really worthless. In all honesty, Debura. <laughs> Funny that you said that. Like, really? Funny that you fucking said that. He looks so awesome and just didn't deliver. And I was... Yeah, he he did look cool as shit and didn't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, what a fucking... You guys are digging. Like, what a fucking way. Down. What are you talking about? He had, like, a whole saga. What are you talking about? (laughs) Yeah, he had a whole... I forgot about him so much. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Like, the Bora was cool and, like, they could have did more, but all they did was use some ass... Gohan hasn't trained in seven years. A frontal assault won't work on somebody like this. That was all he was good for. He pretty much. Yep. It's such shit. Like, what a fucking waste for that awesome design. Ugh, man. And he was powerful as shit. He was powerful as shit, too. He was supposed to be stronger than Cell. Holy shit. I didn't know that, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. he's technically the king of hell, I believe. Mm. Yeah, Something but when they, were, when they were comparing, but when they were comparing the power levels, they said that... Um, He's stronger than Cell, but if Gohan kept training, he should have eclipsed that. Mm. Yep. Okay. So, but yeah, that's my choice. Oh. What's everybody else's choice? Um, I'm gonna throw one say, out. I'm gonna say Bobbity. Bobbity. <laughs> Bobbity. Not a bad pick. How it's you, not a bad. Pick? You somebody and they just they just use it to their advantage. How weak do you have to be for someone to do that? I, I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not <laughs> wrong, and it's not inaccurate, but I have bias because I like Bobbity in the Budokai games because he was so hilarious. <laughs> like, because <laughs> all, all he would do was just scream, ba 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 and he would turn anybody into Bobby. Like, <laughs> he was just playing his character. <laughs> That's all he would do. Like, if you play Budokai 2 and you put the little capsule to become a Bobby, as soon as you die, he just shows up on screen and goes, ba 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 ba. <laughs> and then the character would just hold their head and they would turn to Bajik. It was the most hilarious thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, like, you're, not, you're not wrong. He was, he was annoying. But I he liked, the, I liked the scenes of him and Frieza. Or, uh, him and um, him and Vegeta, though. Like, I actually liked those scenes. I was going to say that I I liked his shit talking with Goku when, uh, when he was demonstrating Super Saiyan 3. Like, I feel like 
Goku turning Super Saiyan 3 wouldn't have been the same without a character like Bobbity who was just going like, Troll oh, your, your hair turned, yeah, your hair turned yellow and got a little bit longer while Goku was explaining all those. It wouldn't have had the same, you know, gravity because we didn't think there was anything higher than Super Saiyan 2 at the time. And yeah. here you have this guy talking shit and we're just like, yeah, like, what, what you going to do? We've already seen Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> then out of nowhere, Goku goes Super Saiyan 3 That's and true. then... Bobby's reaction was what we were all feeling. Like, he couldn't say nothing. And you had Goku screaming for about two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, what about you, Paul? What were you going to say? Uh, I mean, he pretty much... That's, that was pretty good. I, th- I thought Bobby was weak. I, mean, that's, I just think it was whack that he had this mind control, and he does it on Vegeta, and he was like, yeah, whatever, bro. I'm just going to use that power, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. After all yeah, that yeah. shit, it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> underwhelming for for someone to use a spell against you, and you don't even notice it. Like you're pretty, you're pretty whack magician at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we you know, Robert uh, Lamar. Uh, you know, I was uh, going to, I was going to go somebody else. Paul makes a good point. Okay. And then also, what I want to add to is that um, I get, I would probably put him lower, but I forgot. I mean. Bobby's whole thing was like like how Paul said that he was supposed to be controlling people, but neither him nor his father could really control Boo. And then he, you know, once they actually explained everything at the end of DBZ, you find out that his dad, who you know, uh, Bobby's supposed to be a reincarnation of, he didn't even make Majin Boo. He just found him. Yeah. So I mean, like his character was kind of worthless. <laughs> like uh, we assume he created Majin Boo, but he just found him. And, you know, crafted him from that material, and there you go. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. All right, Lamar. My pick was Dodoria. Um, oh, Dodoria. Oh, oh, my God. Jesus. Because Dodoria. Wow. Team they Ozark? have a fair. Dodoria. <laughs> Look, you know, we, we, we can we can rule the universe together. Aren't you a man? Yeah. I'm a woman. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I'm doing Dodoria uh, okay. because I lo- I was going to lose this no matter what I said. I mean, I love and the I game, felt, of course. Team but... Team Four was hilarious. All right, Matt. But, yeah, I just thought that was miscasting. Yeah. All right, Matt. <laughs> so remember, remember when I asked earlier about like an organization or like a group of people <laughs> as a collective? <laughs> that you you wanted to be a number six? I remember. No. Okay. no. Calm, calm the hell down, niggas. All right? What I was going to say was, y'all said Deborah, y'all said Bobbity. I was going to say all of Bobbity's gang itself, such as Yamu, Spobovich, Pui Pui. Mm. All of those were just fucking useless characters. Pui Pui was like, oh, I can fight Vegeta because my pl- on my home planet and shit, and I can beat him because my gravity is like two times oh, more than Earth hilarious. and shit. You know, that was fight. fucking hilarious. They and then Spovich and uh, 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 Spovich and Yamu literally was just like, All right, we're gonna enter this tournament, we're gonna jump in this shit and take Gohan's power, not even compete. Then after that, they just got their asses. Yeah, well, actually, they didn't get that. So they got to just, they just died because I think like either Piccolo or somebody just cut off their heads and just killed them instantly. The so, Borg killed the Borg, yeah, I, I, collectively as like Bobby's people and was just. Fucking useless. So, I mean, to be to be fair, you're you're. It's not inaccurate, but I mean, yo, know, their data was a little bit outdated. You know, they assumed everybody's peak was around the Android saga, not the Cell saga. Understandable. That's fine, but still, even if such, they were majority useless. And it, once again, it did hurt me that Deborah was not used more in the series because his concept and his design and him as a character is just dope as fuck. And they just but can you really it. say? But can you really say they were useless when they achieved their goal? Though they released Majin Buu, they got yes, the energy. I could, I could, I could, I could still. I would say, I would say, Bibbity. Yeah, yeah, Bibbity. That's what I'm saying. Bibbity, yeah. What do y'all think? I don't know. I actually, technically, fuck y'all niggas. It's my choice. I'm choosing yeah. that. Yeah, all but, of them. All those motherfuckers are just useless, and that's number four. So Bobby's gang is fucking useless. I'm not gonna. Fuck okay. That. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what, Trump? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let Lamar go, because I'm curious. So he said we're not going to like his number three. Yeah. <laughs> There's a character on Dragon Ball Z. That when we all <laughs> first saw him, we was like, something's wrong here. You might have seen this character in old school Looney Tunes, dressed as a crow. Oh, oh, or maybe oh, no. dancing and shit. 
No. Now I want to remind you that we're not talking about Team Four Star. We're talking about Dragon Ball. Yeah. In Dragon mm-hmm. Ball Z, I want to talk about the perpetual slave to the king of the world. I want to talk to a person who was on the lookout all the time. Clearly, the black <laughs> man anime, Mister Popo. <laughs> Let's be honest, making the motherfucker blue did not help. They tried to retroactive that shit, but he was basically jinx. And that shit was terrifying too. Did you really have to say they jinxed it? And they jinxed it. You know what I said. You know what I but said. Jinx, but jinx the Pokemon looks exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Well, was that a genius. Um, oh shit. Okay. All right. Paul, what, what do you think? Oh man, that's a good one. I was going to say Zarbon. Oh. <gasps> I kind of like Zerbon, though. Zerbon sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't argue that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just die already, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say just die already? Okay. That's why at that point, yeah. everyone else had gotten bodied. It was like, you're just going to die. You clearly suck. Like, why are you here? <laughs> okay. Zarbon, Zarbon. alrighty. Um, I- I'll go on this one. King Cold. Really? King Cold. Damn. You are really interesting. interesting. Wow. Kind of neutral on King Cold, but that's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I just don't care. Like, I just like, uh, <laughs> it's like, all right, whatever, buddy. <laughs> like, they were just like, <laughs> I was like, okay, cool story, bro. <laughs> oh, man. You can't that, man. I'll go oh, next. And um, I will say, uh, Quee. I think Kui is pretty useless, pretty Y'all hilarious. I don't like the Ginyu Force. Can we just say the Ginyu no, 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 Force? No, 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 no. Kui, Kui wasn't the, he wasn't part of the Ginyu Force. He was part of the Freezer Force. And it was the, the purple alien oh. that was talking shit to Vegeta after yeah. he got his ass whooped and said, we got the same uh, power level. And Vegeta was like, oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I apologize. I do hate yes. that character, too. Be the body. <laughs> That yeah. character was so annoying. He would keep talking shit. We're the same power level for Cheetah. And Cheetah's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> he was like, watch yeah. the fire. I hated that character. He was a, <laughs> oh, that's funny. He was so annoying. That was a good pick. That's a great pick. Okay. Um, Matt. Well, my pick. My pick actually was similar to Lamar's, but actually human and useless as well too mine was a general black from the red ribbon army he was the really tall big black guy with the <gasps> big ass lips that just oh, kept using machinery okay. to try and destroy Goku. you are reaching so far into I lore am, but this is this is because unfortunately i remember really obscure shit in yeah. the dragon ball lore that's why some of my answers are weird I but got- I'm Googling General, General Black. General Black. General Black. I, mem- I remember that show. character. He looked, he looked like a butler. He looked oh like... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Same same concept as, like, Lamar and shit. At least Mr. Popo was useless. Yeah. He was pretty dope, and he was just a cool character. General Black was just, just fucking... Yeah. Just racism, man. <laughs> that started it all. That's how Mr. Popo was even started in the fucking first place. Oh. So I think it's his fault Mr. Popo looks the way he does. So <laughs> I'm choosing General Black. Okay. Well, I mean, Jim, Mr. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, you're not inaccurate for how you feel, but yeah. Mr. Popo Genie, General Black is the only black man in that world filled yeah. with dinosaurs and tiger people. I yeah. mean, he's just generally a black man, really. Yeah, but he got those big ass lips. <laughs> oh, that was just crap. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hate you. I hate you, my boss. We have Zarbon, King Cold, Kui, General Black, and Mr. Popo. Um. <laughs> by the way, his name is Staff Officer Black. <laughs> I'm going to be voting for Staff Officer Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because Makes Staff sense. Officer Black no, I, no punches. I approve. Oh okay. my god. Number number <laughs> two, and this is Robert's judgment on this one. So I'll, I'll go first right. again. Go first. I'll go first again. Supreme Kai. I hated it every time it was on screen. He was just boring. They tried to make him inter- like, interesting, but all the other Kais, like, like, you know, the one with the big purse and who was just always angry all the time, like, 
all the other ones were so interesting with him. He's just like, oh, I'm just the Supreme Kai, and I talk like this, and I just, and it just, it was, I, I hated every, like, when I was a kid. Oh, okay, I, you're, I, you're talking, can, okay, you're talking can, about you're talking about Shen. Okay, I didn't know which one you were can talking I, about. Can I can I throw a counterexample for yours, uh, Tyler? Yeah. I was gonna say the Grand Kai, the one that was in the other world tournament that was the main person overrunning no, and everything, I, and he is the we're one. Doing uh, it, well, well, it's it's well, DBZ. Yeah, it's DBZ. Kai, East Kai. Yeah. Wait, who's Grand Kai? I can't remember who Grand Kai is. Is the one from the other world tournament, the old guy with the really long beard and shit that was oh. supposed to be the grandest Kai out of all of them. He was fine. And he was like. I'm gonna teach y'all and train y'all after, and then after Goku uh, and PyCon technically won the turn. Well, they oh, got Pycon, lost right. because they both got disqualified. He was like, "I'll teach you both," but you had to wait a thousand years and everything because he realized, "Oh shit, these people are way fucking stronger than me and can whoop my ass." Let me bullshit this as much as I can. That's amazing. Someone that's supposed to be the Grand Kai. Then you're making you're the- making him be one of my. Fa- he might be my number one favorite character, DBZ. Then he's like, let me <laughs> literally. So 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 let me get this straight. That he he he's fine, but you you know what? Yeah, he's uh-huh, 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 I'm sorry. He's basically, he's basically Kai version of Hercule. That's what you're basically saying. Look, because a certain somebody was bitching too much, Hercule got on the top ten, which shouldn't even been on the top ten in the first <laughs> place. So I can't put him in this list right now. Actually, you know what? I take it all back. Yo, I take everything I said back. Uh, Tyler, you never said the rules. We couldn't add people from a list. I'm putting Hercule as number That's two. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Are we on three? Are we on three or two? Number or two. three. Number two. No, yeah, we're, we're on number two. I'm putting Hercules number two. I'm putting Hercules number oh, we're two. On two. Yeah, we're on number two. But uh, yeah, I put Hercules. <laughs> Fuck it. He he never said we couldn't take take people from the other list and put them on this list. I count him as number two because he he's apparently on this fucking top ten list. But you know what? He's still a shit character as well too. So I'm putting him as number two. All right. All right. It's a lot of hate. Like I should put Broly on there. Just out of sight, no, no, at least I at least I understand the flaws of Broly, and I know he belongs on that list as well too. But a certain somebody was being a little bitch about the top ten, so I'm gonna put Hercules number two. <laughs> what you talking about? I didn't say that. that I didn't say Hercules didn't have any flaws. We just mm. accentuate. We accentuate the mm-hmm. positives right. and hide the negative. All right, Paul. Mm-hmm. Paul, yeah, who, sure. Who's number two for you? I would put Arlay here for me. Arlay. The one I said at the beginning. Oh. She's already at number five, isn't she? No. Did she get? I don't think she actually made it. No, Android eight, Android 17 was number five. Yeah, oh, seven. seven. I'm going to bring it back to Mr. Popo. <laughs> I'm getting Popo on this list. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not leaving this list without getting Popo to be acknowledged as the most cancerous thing <laughs> to be put on Dragon Ball. All he right. is literally a magical Negro. I don't oh know God. you more need from him. This is, this is tough. It's a dead heat, honestly, between Broly and General Tao. General Tao. I like, Tao. General Tao. I like that fight. One of the most. <laughs> you wanted to know General Tao in DBZ was one of the most useless characters. This man tried to defeat Goku with a puzzle. Put all these Wait. metal sticks apart, and I'll give you the dragon. How the hell are you going to challenge somebody who don't even know basic arithmetic to a puzzle? Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, okay, so he sucks in Dragon Ball Z, but in Dragon Ball, I love that fight. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, he was fine. In Dragon Ball Z, yeah. he challenged him to Goku to a puzzle. I know, but we're doing both of them. We're doing Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. It would be between him or between Broly. And so since somebody seems to be so upset at me over a certain pick, we're going to put Broly at number, we going to, I'm going to say Broly at number two. I hate Broly. Um, so I, because, I, I I, I choose to argue that right now. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? Nah, gonna, you know what? I'm not going to argue that because I'm going to, you know, no, nah, I'm going to hold on to it for number one just because okay. she'd be a little bitch, but I'm going to hold on to it for number one. So I'll bow to this. I'll bow to this. I'll bow to this because, like, I'll bow. <laughs> We're all friends here. All right. I'll I'll say, say, I'll say, she should be listening to any of shit. I'm going to say Broly, and I'm only going to say Broly because you had an amazing character design. You had something to explore upon on the lore. I mean, we had Super Saiyans, we had Ultra Super Saiyans, and all this other type of stuff. And here you go with the legendary Super Saiyan. The character was hype. The music was hype because they were putting, like, what, 2000s, early, and 90s new metal on those Dragon Ball Z movies. And Broly was just going to town on every Super Saiyan, and you didn't think he was going to win. And he was so cool 
So you heard about his motivation. He was mad because Goku was crying next to him. This whole <laughs> four thirty-five year, his thirty-five year grudge aggravation. I, is because yeah. oh, I hate Broly. Yeah. Because a uh, baby was crying. Okay. Goku cried. He, Goku cried Broly to a power level of ten thousand, and he made Broly upset. <laughs> and Broly was so mad he came back for two movies, and one of them he was a ball of sludge. <laughs> All right, we're at number one, and I'm the judge for it. All righty, guys. <laughs> wow me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to say Goten. Okay. Yeah. For two reasons. Like, one, why Like why are you here? And two, why don't you ever grow? And that's that's my problem, Goten. <laughs> why don't you grow? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't grow. He's a kid. <laughs> He's never <laughs> grown. <laughs> the whole boost that took place in like what a week. <laughs> he be that dude, and that kid's like, "Yo, I'm still here. I'm just like eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, Lamar. You're gonna say go ten. I want to remind you guys that on top of this big ass tower in the sky. <laughs> There's a magical Negro. There's a magical Negro. <laughs> Just see what a watering plants going. Hello there, call me. How you doing today? You need to help me? Y'all don't forget he talked like this, but he did. So, my oh, man, please don't leave me, Tommy. Who's gonna be please here with me? Who's gonna me? let me know? I don't know what to do without my comment. We Tommy, we said, Tommy, we said, we can't. To the end of time, it's going to be Mr. <laughs> Big Black, Super Black, Red as Lips as his baboons behind, and Mama dancing for Mammy as Mr. Motherfucking Popo. We can't, we can't have two black people number one on the list. We yes, the fuck out. We can. <laughs> Mr. Popo. <laughs> So Raddix, and I got it. Staff Officer Black. Fuck both of them. Oh, God. That's so fucking funny. I, 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 can, I can tell this is really triggering Lamar. I'm going to give him my vote. I'm going to say Popo for the more. Okay. <laughs> Popo for the culture. All right, Matt. I, I personally hold on to what I said earlier with the whole, if one person's on the first list, they can also go on the second list. So fuck it. I'm saying Goku. Because Goku is just <laughs> such a bad... Okay. Yeah. Yes, he's I mean, doing all that I'm good not, shit, but not made all these that's comments. Like all the all the shit that Robert and like Lamar and part everyone said they were fighting Goku on the list earlier still makes valid points here on why he's just a shit bad character. Yes, he's the protagonist, but he's still a fucking bad character. Very la- like, oh, uh, just a I, bad daddy as well too. A bad, if we had a, a bad husband, if a we bad had brand sometimes, six through ten, I would entertain, but not the worst character. Yeah, I, I don't agree uh, with that at all. Um, mine, I would give you six through ten. So I'm actually shocked that this character wasn't named at all. Um, my pick was going to be Garlic Junior. No, nah, uh, that was Garlic Junior sucks, but it's not a character you just dislike. I mean, it's just he's there. I mean, he he got his. He's the only one. He's the only one that succeeded in getting immortality. You know, yep. he didn't ask for True. eternal youth like you know, a smart person. But, I mean, yeah. he's still lost. I mean, yeah. you got to give him props. He he got uh, immortality. It was just irrelevant. So I changed mine to Supreme Kai because I, I just hated every single time Supreme Kai was in an episode. And I have to agree, Mr. Popo is the worst. So I'm going to give it to Mr. Popo. I just am. I'm going to give... I'm, Thank you. I'm going to give Lamar this Popo. win. Yeah, uh, the powers are beyond me, and I agree. I I, I don't like Mr. Popo either. Um, but... <laughs> Popo for the culture. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> all right, well, you guys, that was so much fun. We have our top ten, which was uh, starting from oh ten is God. Hercule, then King Kai, Bulma, Goku, Frieza, Krillin, Vegeta, Cell, Gohan, and Piccolo, and then our bottom five DBZ characters are Android Seventeen, Dabura, Bobbity, all Bobbity's gang. General Black, Broly, and then Mr. Popo. 
Uh, I think I I had a lot of fun with you guys. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I hope you <laughs> listeners had a lot of fun with this chaos. I knew this was going to be chaos, but I wanted to do this anyway. I really want to do this as a panel as well, so hopefully you'll see this at conventions in the future. But um, before we go, because this is an, over a two hour, this is an <laughs> over two hours long. I did not expect that. Oh God! Um, already? No, uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> all right, Matt. Where can they find more about you? Oh my God! This has been fucking hilarious. You can find me at. Uh, all social media, nerdy underscore bit. We sell streetwear clothing. You can also find me at nerdybit.co, which is my website to buy my shit. If you want to find me on my personal account, you can find me at Lamar the Con Guy. Once again, it's Lamar the Con Guy on Instagram if you're looking for my personal account. So just to let you know. Perfect. All righty. And uh, all righty, Robert. Hey, guys. It was it was a blast. I hope I get invited to another one of these. Absolutely. It's my first time. And I had so much fun. Um, you you can find me on all social media at Techman Blade Double O. That's T E K K A M A N B L A D E zero zero. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and any of your online communities. I'm always using that tag. All righty, and uh, Lamar. Hey everybody, you can find my name is Lamar the Con Guy. You can find me at Nerdy underscore Bit on Instagram <laughs> and Facebook. Uh, I might look like a darker Negro with glasses, but I assure you I am not. Um, <laughs> this is this is the longest running joke I've ever done. This is the longest running joke. No, right, but hello. My name is Lamar the Con Guy. It's L-E-M-A-R, the Con Guy. You can find me on Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, all on the net handle, or go to my link tree, the <clears throat> link tr.ee slash Lamar the Con Guy. You can find all my social medias. Uh, I am also in several podcasts, including this one, uh, working on the Grand Geek Gathering with Mr. Tyler McPhail, working on the Nerdy Point of View with my friend Brian and uh, Carrie, and then the Games That Shaped Us video game podcast, all sorts of things. Uh, I do Twitch Sing Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursday nights, and I'm all about the money. So go in and go to my Twitch streams, <laughs> give me money uh, so that I don't have to get a real job. Hell yeah. Uh, anymore. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you go to nerdybit.co and give me money. We're having some technical difficulties, but if you want to know any information about Paul, we have the article on the website, and he's uh, Black Skills, B L A Q S K I L L Z on Instagram. And he also he also does his uh, his fighting um, also on Twitch. So definitely check out his Twitch as well and follow and subscribe. In fact, follow and subscribe to all of our channels. I'm sure we're all on Twitch. And um, yeah. Paul is an awesome comedian, great guy. Can't wait for to see all of you guys, uh, and can't wait to meet you in person, Robert. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for you for listening in for this two-hour podcast. You can find all of our shows in, every time. Uh, yeah, you can find all of our shows and offerings on thegrandgeekgathering.com, where we have articles, videos, and so much more. Also on your YouTube, we have Let's Play videos, our Grand Geek Eatery, which is our cooking show, and we also have our Popmosis Film podcast as well. And we're also trans. Uh, we're also going to be having some of our podcasts turn into video podcasts and more information on that in the su- uh, soon. Uh, music has been provided. <laughs> music has been provided by midnight Shinigami. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all the other stuff. Uh, have a wonderful week. Wear a mask and GGG. Grand Geek Gathering